Satan fuckers, welcome Satan's on in cool. to a weirdly timed, weirdly paced, my chat's broken and not showing up, that's amazing, great way to start things off, yeah, yeah, um, wait a second, I think I know why, aha, aha, one second, one second, I've been messing around with stuff and that, I think I know what did that, haha, -ha. um, Wait, no, 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 that should be correct. Let me see. No, 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 I think chat's just broken. One sec. Oh God, great way to start things off. Um, slime chat, refresh. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, test chat's coming through. Yes, there we go, there we go. Loved it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, fantastic. Love that for us. Anyways, welcome on in, fuckos. It's good to have y'all here. Hello, hello. Um, welcome. I do have a desk set up, but that's for later. That's when we get back to, uh, when, when we settle in. But first I wanted to say hi to y'all. Welcome on in. Um, to day one of Gamescom. Uh, so I have been, uh, tapped. Uh, somebody from Audiencely reached out to me, uh, via email. And I actually remembered to check my firm's email. Um, but they, uh, asked if I was interested in being a Gamescom official co-streamer. Um, not really much involved other than, you know, can't, um, advertise other shit during it. Great. Easy enough. Fair enough. Um, and, um, I mean, theoretically, if they reach out to me, they should know that, um, I, I, I say hail Satan at the start and end of every one of my streams. So theoretically, Gamescom endorses Satan. We can just get that on record right now. Um, it's good to have y'all here. Hello, Ao. Welcome, welcome. Uh, lurking, excited for Monday. It's good to have y'all here. Uh, massive shout out to Ao, who's been just started MGS3 and um, is already having a fucking amazing playthrough. Um, generally, great vibes. Um, and there might be. Ayo, can we can we can, can we announce can, 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 can we announce what we what we just if, if you're okay um obviously no time or day yeah okay okay so uh i was in a it was chat the other day uh we were, we were <laughs> i think she was playing dark souls 2 or some shit um but the subject of kane and lynch 2 was broached and i don't know shit about it other than it is very short and it's the game that got jeff gersman fired so um she, she mentioned the possibility of 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 um of uh co-oping it that's gonna happen sometime in the near future <laughs> it's, it's very cheap on steam and apparently has online co-op neither of us i i ayo have you played canon lynch one i haven't and apparently it's unpurchasable right now thanks to square enix yeah so neither of us neither of us have played kane and lynch one we have no idea what we're getting into here but that's gonna be a collapse y'all can look forward to oh god yeah that's so something to get excited for first big announcement of gamescom right now right there um the ao from kane and lynch 2 um collab upcoming um that the that that's gonna be great um it's probably just gonna be one stream because apparently the game's like four hours long but i'm really excited to learn literally anything about it yeah no but will i remember you and Bartho playing the demo like repeatedly firing up the demo and i don't i didn't retain anything from it i just remember that that was a thing that happened um, <laughs> Yeah, apparently, yeah, no, apparently for whatever reason, uh, Kane and Lynch 1 is just, like, unpurchasable in, like, uh, thing is some order by Square Enix. It's, like, in the store, it says, like, they're working on some updates, but it'll be out and better than ever, so keep your eyes peeled. So, like, we literally have no choice but to go into Kane and Lynch 2. Um Dog days are over, and uh, we with zero content. Um, it's gonna be great. Um... You have a lot of oh, damn short. Sure. Welcome on in. That's a shit ton of points. I should fear, but I do have, for hopefully understandable reasons, um, most redeems turned off for this. Because you know, we're gonna have some 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 announcements to enjoy. We're gonna have some some reveals, perhaps. I really don't know what we're getting into. I know Capcom's here and probably showing off Monster Hunter shit. Um, Lynch <laughs> in the machine. <laughs> But yeah, I just don't want to, I don't want anything to get interrupted. Uh, at some point, we will have to do an ad break. Um, unfortunately, that is the way of things on Twitch. Uh, I'm just going to try and drop it during something that uh, I and hopefully most of chat 
don't care about is the way to do it, right? Um, did your stream see her with Warframe stuff? Neat, there's gonna be. So I, I did tell them when they first re reached out to me, like, I am not good at faking enthusiasm. Uh, you know, I can voice act some shit, but I'm having fun then. Um, like, I'm not, I, I, I can't promise any level of like, um, the false hype here. <laughs> And and if I'm being entirely honest, the thing that I'm really excited for is tomorrow's awesome indie showcase. Because I usually tend to just be more into indie games and they tend to kind of fly under the radar and surprise me more often. And so like, I'm psyched to see, you know, I'm gonna keep an open mind today, but like, I know like, there's some, there's some games that I will just kind of snooze for. I'm gonna try as an official co-streamer, I'm gonna try not to do what I did during the Nintendo Direct and just like tab away and play Pokemon Showdown randoms. Um, it is very difficult for me to d resist that urge, though. Oh, um, <laughs> you're all driving, but you heard Caden Lynch too. Hell yeah! <laughs> the Caden Lynch two defender is logging in. We love to see it. Hail Satan, Fizz. How you doing, dude? Also, theoretically, so I was given not much in the way of like official links. I was told I could watch via their clean stream which I believe we are on right now, but right now it's just a collection of trailers. Uh, one of which I, I should, let me let me position myself, Hell Satan. Um, so I'm, I'm behind my, my commanders. We got our battle station up. Uh, right now we've got, they got a lovely collection of trailers up here for us. Um, Diablo, I physically am capable of giving a shit about. Um, this means warp. We could check this out. We could watch some trailers while we're waiting for the thing to start. I'm assuming that when once things start off at 2 p.m. in 12 minutes, um, thing I, I'm I'm assuming that like I'm assuming it'll just warp over to this on because this is theoretically the clean feed and all these trailers will be replaced with the actual footage. Uh, yeah, this looks like uh, yeah, this looks kind of FTL like. So we can watch this. We can check out some things. We can check out. I'll, I'll turn down my 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 good lovely buds full screen. You should check out their new single aperitif stat. Um, but yeah, let's let's see let's see what Gamescom has prepared for us to whet our appetites. Found something really funny today. What might that be? Okay. Wait, so or up to four players. Okay. So it's it, it's FTL like, but you are actually running around. Oh, oh, what's that game? What's that game called? Um, it's like Lovers in a Dangerous. Um, lovers in a danger, dangerous space time. Yeah, it's like this game where you're running around. I've, I've played this, I, I played, uh, I think, Will, I think I played this at your place before. Yeah, no, it's a, it looks like a version like that, but, um, but also FTL? Uh, overcooked, actually, wait a second, yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, Doc. Um, Whoa, okay, I, I actually, wait, I love the design of this. Wait, I love the design of this. Look at this. It's a little cannon, and the cannon has the dice roll built into it. I've already made plans to keep up. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, no, no, take care, and take care of Dusa for me. Um, how long does this go? I think it's going to be two hours once it starts. Um, I was told roughly two hours for opening night, but yeah, yeah, okay, look at that. The fucking, um, the, there's a little dice roller in the built into the cannon i actually love that it is a design decision that uh, that it's out now out now who to thunk okay that actually looks neat i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and wish list that while i feed while i'm while i'm pulling up steam don't worry y'all y'all say entertain with motherfucking construction simulator gold edition oh Oh, the music is already Ford Tough. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Wait a second, wait a second. Actually, no, 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 no. Um, let me. <laughs> um, what's, what's the song fucking called? Um, I really wish Spotify was more navigable. Um, uh, trucks. Yeah. Trucks, trucks, trucks. Yeah! Truck will get you through the toughest of conditions. Okay, the what's that game called? Parks and fences. Warp. The truck will power through anything and anyone. 
I forgot what the game's called. <laughs> this means war. Yeah, okay. Well, the 20 bucks. Definitely wish listing that, though. That looks cool. Lots of hidden compartments for all of your unregistered firearms. Yeah! Trucks. Okay, okay. Buy one. Buy one. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, what? Oh, shit! Wait, I look back from wishlisting This Means Warp, and we're we're apparently constructing a, like, NASA launch site? <laughs> okay, there's a lot going on in this. Uh, you got all the famous brands like Kramer and JCB. Yeah, true to life. All right, um... I don't believe this is in the language I speak. Sind wir live von der, uh, Gamescom 2023? I knew, I know he said Gamescom, though. Um... Techno Banter! By Crunching Koalas, okay. I thought this said DeviantArt for a second. Mm, certainly colorful. Oh, I, whoa! Oh, I actually kind of fuck with this art style. Is that the California Raisins? That was a California Raisin, right? <laughs> Wait a second, it's a DJ game? Oh, frog! Time to go to work. Swamp core. I kind of love it. Okay, but does it let me spin? Does it let me spin? I need to spin! More dancing, more sweating, more drinking, yeah! Okay, it seems like... I, I probably wouldn't play it myself, but I like the vibes a lot. Okay, that's everything. I'm not watching a Diablo trailer. Okay, so let's get. I so far this means warp looks the coolest thing I've seen uh, right now. Uh, anyways, um... America. Just let that just let that run. We'll just let that run. I can refresh the page. I don't think it's gonna get me anything. Oh, there we go. Wait a second. Here we go. Never mind. Aha. Okay. Thank you. Wait. All right, okay, we're here, we're here. We're doing it. Um, it is, I'm gonna just open up on, this should be a better view for y'all. Cool, cool. Next up, we've got Enzoi, which is a new life they sim game. They started a little early, like uh, early, but all right. More beautiful. Let if you are interested in getting the a head start on creating your characters, this next trailer oh. is for you. All right. Um, are the subtitles gonna be a little distracted? Distracting? Because they're gonna be a little. They're gonna be a little off time. Wait, is this Sims? Sims meets IMVU? Like. Wait, I think this is actually. That sounds like Simlish. All right, making it rain. Um, Simsons. Okay, that cover art looks AI generated as fuck. Okay, Tribe Nine. Ooh, I love me an arcade sick. Okay, wait a second. This is a little, oh, hey, okay, nice. Mm. Wait a second, first core game is fuck. I, 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 it's been, it's been a while since we played a game with a good old fashioned fucking life counter. That's a great boss design. Is this a boss rush game? Oh, 
Oh. oh, what an overworld. Wait a second. This looks... Okay, we got party members in here. I'm noticing a lot of the same combos coming out. I'm starting to worry. I'm, so I'm starting to get gotcha worries. Good trailer though, good fight animation. Do have that VTuber ass design. Potentially sick um, if it isn't gotcha. <laughs> oh, it's a roguelike from the Dog and Rumpa, folks? Then I'm sold. Live. Yeah, okay, great. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. We are oh, mobile game? Oh, live service? Oh. Trailers by also high graphy. Okay, never more mind. And more game trailers. Thank you. And yes. Next up is another brand new Boss game man. announcement. I've always wanted to fly. The joy of it, the freedom of it, to just take your life in your hands. Get off center? Oh, yeah, yeah, the chat, the chat's throwing it off. There we go. How about that? That's what my dad taught me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Um. When I was testing all the settings and whatnot, the chat wasn't a factor, or, or like YouTube chat. Oh, but I do get a little bit of. Let me shift it to the side. There we go. Ooh! Yeah, people get if people get bothered enough by the captions, I'll turn them off. They're auto-generated, so they're going to be off sync by nature. Okay. This oh. might be hard for you to believe, but we have just one trailer left in this pre-show. Okay, but that's just you the pre-show. Gotcha, gotcha. Back at Summer Game Fest, Capcom announced that Terry Bogard would be joining Season 2 of yes. Street Fighter 6. Yes. Then, last month at EVO. Also, Nefer P2 are in the background. Terrific. Fucking bass. Bass as hell. I appreciate but that. Tonight, now, in this moment, Terry's about to power dunk all doubts. He is the Street Fighter He's living this Bogart moment up. I can't blame him. What a treat to get to announce that, honestly. Yeah! He fits right in. He fits right in. Okay, I'm I'm turning off the the, the, the... the subtitles are just getting in the way of good gameplay footage. I need that clean feed. Shut the fuck up. Oh, good alt costumes, yeah! Mmm, the launcher. I've never played a Fatal Fury, but... Woo! Okay, yeah, yeah, he's clean, he's clean, he's clean. Y'all are gonna get me to put a fucking fight sick on the throne, aren't you? Hello, Giguto, welcome. Oh! Woo! Look at that cheeky bastard. Yeah! Okay, no, he's great. He's great. Even from a, from what little Terry. I know about Terry and Bogard, that's it for the he seems fan fantastic. Night Live 2024 is now officially just seconds away. Okay. Thank you for hanging out with me here. Thank you, boss. Is that the Hyakushiki? Thanks for watching. Never P2 and the Hyakushiki? Uh, respect, respect. I'm sorry. I focus on... I, I, I focus on the important things in my life. Also, 18 plus disclaimer, unnecessary. No minors in Please chat, goddammit. Please welcome your host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keeley. The Keeley, it's Panty Raider himself. Yeah. Oh man, Mr. Worldwide. Guten Abend, Gamescom! Yeah! And hello Abend, to everyone fuckos. watching around the world. This is Opening Night Live from beautiful Cologne, Germany. And we have our biggest live audience of fans ever 
here at Col Messe, over 5,000 people together as a community to celebrate our love of games. And of course, millions of you watching online around the world. A nice Welcome. handful of fuckos the grand down here in Cool Gamescom, The world's biggest <laughs> in game game event. <laughs> and this is our sixth opening night live. Now, tonight, for the first time, we have a live sign language stream of O&L. Ooh, to make the show, that's nice. Show even more accessible. Thank you to Kaborski, who's signing the show right now. Thank you, Kaborski. That's amazing. Oh, we love that. We love to see it. Now, while the game industry certainly has faced challenges this year, I know that O&L <laughs> will get you excited about what's to come later this year. That's a, our, our one and only and reference beyond. to the layoffs. Now, over the next two hours, you're going to see world Hello, yeah, from no. studios big and small, including, yes, some new game announcements you're not expecting <laughs> and some surprises. So get ready. From Monster Hunter to Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah, Doom I forgot they're making an Indiana Jones Call game. Call of Duty to Marvel Rivals, the most anticipated game will be Proxy. on stage Welcome. tonight because they wanted to be here with you guys at Gamescom, and I am so honored and grateful to have the opportunity to present these games to you. Oh, man. Also, I say that. <laughs> so, Gamescom, Sensi right for the world premiere. <laughs> the little look of approval, like right, for here's approval. Our first world premiere, a brand premiere. new game announcement. This one hasn't leaked, and it's exclusive right here. <laughs> this one hasn't leaked. Out. What has? Oh boy, he says that like it's so rare, such a treat. Yes, I did hear that, about Mothman. Welcome, <laughs> 2K Games. Gearbox, wait. The actual gameplay, yeah, I know. It, it, it's an announcement. Okay. This could be like any Marvel movie right now. Um, could be Borderlands, yeah. Riding high on success of the film. <laughs> Tone shift. Tone shift as soon as something comes out of this. That is the Borderlands. Oh no, never mind. Oh no, we're going all in on edge. No, oh, it's Borderlands. Okay. There you go. All right. Talk That's about right. franchises with momentum behind them right now. 2025. Next up, October 25th marks the release of Call of Duty Hello, Black Tash. Ops 6. Oh. To debut an extended look at the campaign gameplay, please welcome John Zuck and Katherine Anderson from Raven Software. Extended, fuckers. Extended. Black Ops returns with an <laughs> epic story and signature blockbuster action where players question everything and trust <laughs> It features an all new campaign with 16 new multiplayer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The thought of a Black Call of Duty game where the player questions everything. Experiences on day one. You'll see live MP, zombies, and Warzone gameplay at the Call of Duty Next event on August 28th. And starting on August 30th, you'll be able to join the MP open beta to try out the brand new Omni movement system for yourself. We've seen leaks for this game Today, in the past. I, I just. We're here representing I just the Raven team, who's leading the campaign. The one in like with good memory I have of Call of Duty is like some of my friends Black had a Ops mode where they, they play with like. 90s. Everybody, it was split screen and you had like a weird weapon set on. I forget which Call of Duty game this was, but you played with like the most convoluted, unintuitive, uh, standard like uh, control scheme possible. It was almost like it was like it was almost like drunk COD kind of thing. Um, a mind bending conspiracy. In the mission we're about to show you, remember Quake 4? I don't, unfortunately. In order to is there anything that has a six in their title that's good? 
under um, I would feet. say if DMC6 this gets announced, then awesome. hopefully. That's my pipe dream for today. It's not going to happen, but if I'm if I'm throwing out a Hail Mary, so that'd be it. Again, like the right, right, Call of Duty game where you question right, everything, right, like, right, are you going right. to are you going to actually go a cab with it? Like camera actually works. Sometimes I surprise I don't earn, I earned some respect, but no. can get the retinal scan. OK, senators on stage now. Use your camera to get a better look. I'm up a little. The senator isn't giving in. Oh, you're stealthing it. That's that's just, just Bill Clinton. Wait, that's just Bill Clinton. That's literally Bill Clinton. Leads that could help get you close enough to do the retinal scan. Take your pick. Bill Clinton jump scare. Good authority that the senator stole some sensitive information. I, I remember this from every blockbuster I went to. Yeah, well, the nostalgia is overwhelming. This is literally. Why is this just fucking um uh night uh, agent under fire? I've or no, no, this is Nightfire. This is the infiltration mission from Nightfire. Lee Grisham. <laughs> Bill Clinton made me fall out of my seat. <laughs> Grisham might be our way to McKenna. Saxophone wafts in. I hope the 9-11 mission leaks fake. Wait, there's the 9-11 mission? <laughs> Woo! Looks kind of like Steve Carell. <laughs> The capillaries in the senators. That would be funny if they just also they, they populate this with real historical figures and like actors. <laughs> Hello, Sino. Welcome, welcome. Please help. They took me during shift change. Knew our schedule somehow. No, no. He was, he was two days away from retirement. It must be Pantheon. Is uh, if Borderlands 4 was what they said wasn't leaked? <laughs> yeah, no, I like I like that as a I like that as a way to open things up. Ah, it's a shooting. Uh, there, uh, big 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 announcement. You're hearing it from me first. There's shooting in the new Call of Duty. Maybe with a gun. Easy, Adam. We're here to help. If if anything is to believe from a recent Jacob Yeller video, there will be torture. Uh, <laughs> the old man says you're worth it. You better be right. Sev, we got the prize. Good. I'll get out. Fast. We've got party crashers up here. Hello, Mars. Welcome, welcome. You good to go? Yeah, I feel like anybody who leaked Borderlands 4 would just, like, they know that they'd just be yelled at. <laughs> right? Usually you leak things that people, like, aren't. Ah, oh, no, it would be. It's less a leak than more of a whistleblower situation. Stop That's just okay. So you get to fight Doom Guy, I guess. Sure, sure, armored up. Black Ops Juggernaut. Uh, if I'm learning, oh, okay, we get to be the trickster. <laughs> These Pantheon guys literally sent the big guns after you, Adler. How's that feel? Uh, yeah, fucking um, Metal Gear Rex Mark II okay, got a little uh, first. I'll give you rowdy a in his later years. <laughs> <laughs> first, Adler. Come on, Case. B4 card and single player's base. Uh, that, that is pretty cool. Like, I, if you're going to have all these, um, like, unlocks and perks that are presumably mainly for the multiplayer and, and the campaign being like a training mode for them is actually a really good idea even vanquish don't say even vanquish like that's a low bar vanquish is like peak vanquish is the one fucking um hail satan mix how you doing welcome on in um vanquish is like the one like shooter that i'm actually into if people are new around here, I just like generally am not a shooter man. Like I don't enjoy most games with a first person uh, point of view. A little bit of that is is maybe um, like motion sickness stuff occasionally. Uh, but it's just like aiming and shooting is like one of my less favorite means of interacting with a game, right? Uh, so a lot of a, a lot of announcements will just by definition by like just categorically kind of pass me by in terms of like something might look cool and I recognize that it could be good, but it's just not my thing. 
Uh, how do I like third person shooters? Eh. I really like movement in games, which is why I fuck with Vanquish really hard. Vanquish has got like, it's, it's a platinum game. It has so many character action markers while still being a shooter. Um, and it's got like a lot of fun little exploits and things. Um, but yeah, like our movement's a big thing for me. I know that movement shooters have become more and more of a thing with Titanfall and Apex and whatnot. Third person I can fuck with a little bit more. Because, like, I did grow up... One of my favorite games growing up, uh, like, in, like, I think middle or high school years was Metal Arms Glitch in the System. Now, talk about... Talk about fucking sequels that we need. Talk about games that I'd love to see uh, being brought back. Metal Arms Glitch in the System. This is... I gotta give it to credit. I'm not talking much about the gameplay because it's not really my thing, but like, at the very least, this does look like a fun, varied, uh, like, action movie of a single player campaign. Which is kind of what you want out of one of these, right? In my opinion. If it's gonna onboard you for the, uh, for the multiplayer where, you know, some sweaty kids are gonna be teabagging you and, uh, you know, a 13 year old won't shut up with the slurs on voice chat. Uh, like, at the very least, the campaign should just be a fun little power fantasy that gets self over with quickly but is nice and varied and like yeah it's, it's like has shades of like certain mgs finales and whatnot where you're just kind of on the roller coaster for it um I, I would be really into that like i i i i like that in games like that's why i like character action games <laughs> okay throwing a dude out of a helicopter just looks fun fuck with roguelike hashing flashes occasionally occasionally i mean i play the show hades and hades too right I've heard good things about um, Titanfall's campaign. Also, Yannick, thank you for the trick. There you go, Black Ops 6. More All coming right. at Call of Duty next. Where are the blobs I'm honored hole. to introduce my co-host for Opening Night Live. There's a co-host. Years of hosting League of Legends esports. Greg Turkington. World. Greg Turkington. You know Greg Turkington. Greg Turkington. Let me hear that. Hey guys. Player? That's right. Please join me in welcoming. The How many popcorn classes are we going to go to get today? Thank you for the warm welcome, Unreal Oops. Tournament. That is uh, quite the throwback, but okay. I am so excited to be here tonight revealing many of the games on opening night live and highlighting events happening during this Gamescom week in Cologne. Uh, yeah, Gamescom not even, really I was not expecting that had to be worldwide how, how it was going to be spelled, but all right, so cool. I'm so stoked to be Jots. back here with you all celebrating it. Now, it is my pleasure to share a message from Gamescom to you, our gaming community. Sure. Uh, we are the gaming community. Dear future me, I hope you are happy. I hope you visit wonderful places that you have hey! friends from places far Relative. away. Relative. Yeah! And that you always have the best adventures. That you fight for the things you love. Okay. And that you love the things you do. Dear future me, my favorite thing in the world is to play. Yeah, the, I didn't see the Gamescom like mech. Too? Gamescom's got its own mech? Okay, sure. Um, I yes, feel the future real is here inspired. And we are ready to play. Esports and us are cool, cool. I'm, fun trailer. I, the, the only esports I follow is FGC stuff, but uh, so I'm going to be probably. There's both, again, probably a lot of stuff's going to go right over my head. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wait a second. What is this, like a, a scanner darkly? Well, that's that's Warcraft. Oh, uh, Mogging Arthas. Re-release Ward. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Where, where, where? At least it's aware, self-aware. Okay. Are, are we are we are we actually legitimately shitting on re-releases? Because I'm into that. Wow, okay, that is pointed. Wow, these are targeted. Wait a second. Skibbity toilet makes an appearance on a firm stream. It, it was going to happen eventually. This is surreal. Is that 
that this is a red dragon. <laughs> What are we witnessing right now? Hello, Downin. That's a that's a that's a goat. Wait. Oh, never mind. <sighs> Who's that? Oh no! Don't tell me! Don't tell me! Ah, this is a good scream. Oh. I really wish I enjoyed the first one of these. <laughs> This is why they... Fuckos, I really wish I enjoyed the first Ghost Simulator. I got bored in like 10 minutes. In my um, opinion, uh, that looked like the goat Hello, Daisy, welcome on in. What words would I have on my goat feet? Bad bitch. Um, okay, yeah, it's okay. a remaster, well, um, right? <laughs> we are expecting hundreds of thousands of fans just, at you know, this year in person. Bold of them to make it one of the first announcements of the worry. night. You can join us virtually by going to Gamescom Global God, I wish I was into it. <laughs> where you can explore and discover what the world's gaming industry has in store for you. And our very own Gamescom Studio is here with all day. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, Darion. Welcome on in. Studios broadcast by IGN and on Twitch Hail or Satan, on YouTube. Now, they knew I was watching. This is why they reached out to me. Persona 3 Reload and its next DLC episode, I guess, The Answer, coming on September 10th. It's time They're doing a DLC a for a re boss fight coming to the game. Tomorrow. I mean, it's cool that Persona fans Wednesday get more food. Oh, I like her design. It's like Tartarus all over again. There so they're they're doing a whole DLC for it. I don't know how I feel Let's about that. Then we'll know. Oh, it's so part of the original too. Okay, then that's cool. Wait, wait. Ravage them. you never see. Oh! Oh wait, like that's sick! Wait, no, that's dope! Wait, that's actually really cool! Okay, yeah, yeah, because each of the games make you fight the previous protagonist. And so that I didn't no I didn't see that coming! No Joker fun there. Right. That's cool! Next that's, up, we uh, have another new game announcement for you right here. Okay. Exclusively at Gamescom opening night. Was this five. one leaked? He, he didn't specify, Jeff. He's close. The new yeah, Persona fighting game will be d dope. Is uh evolved too? On me. Bloody. Predator would be dope. Yeah. I'm assuming we're playing as a slasher man in this. I like the music on this. I like that there are no sound effects when it cut away. It's kind of haunting. It reminds me of the um, Hades OST a bit. like infamous or okay you do some decapitating i do love a good tactical bow yeah everybody seems to be assuming this is dying like i guess yeah the beast i never never narrowly played a dying light but sure okay Apparently, this is something people have been wanting. There you go. Kyle Reaching out Crane to the furry community. We love to see it. A new zombie adventure set in the Dying Light world with 20 hours of gameplay, a new open world region, and more in Dying Light The Beast. Next, sure. today marks the launch for the most wish listed game right now on Steam and also the most wish listed game? Single player game ever on Steam with over 2 million kickers. Oh, is this Wukong? Black Myth Wukong from Game Science 
in China, which is also out on the PlayStation 5. And right now, we've got the reveal of the launch trailer for you. We got the reveal of the launch trailer. Wait, it's already out, though. People were mentioning this as a possible stream game, which I don't know. Oh, a little headless dude. I mean, I love Goku, so. Can I, can I get this at a higher res? No. Okay. Music's cool. Oh, okay. You got some transform attacks. I like that. Looks like it might play kind of like Neo too, which is like the best souls like. So, hmm. Little Okami in there, sure. It defo looks appropriately like epic in scale. I need to see some like actual gameplay of it, but like, do you love me a good adventure? Chinese mythological Neo, sure. That could go hard. They are really going all in on spectacle, which I can respect. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty as fuck. Oh, man, double the amount of maximum player base. Then. Damn. Hello, Darrow. Oh, OK, it's the anime arena fighter. It's going to be cheesy as fuck. I'm probably not going to buy it, but like I love it. Some Dragon Ball news. We went from we went from Goku to Goku. Truly, everyone is Goku. Oh. I don't know who has or hasn't been announced for this yet, so. God, it does look really good. Oh, wait, you get to be Mr. Satan running from, from Vegeta. That's good. Yay, Father Beaten the Sun Simulator. It's a reminder to everybody to listen to the All Systems Goku podcast from Giant Bomb. Speaking of Jeff Gersman, um, oh, Topo's in there. Ginyu, we love some Ginyu. Yeah, pre-order and get three Gokus, two Brolies. <laughs> That's a proper. Welcome back to Gamescom opening night live. Oh, this is beautiful. Wargok? Who's ready to This is, is this? From the Construct Coliseum, it's time for everyone's favorite game, King of Meat! I saw the joint recently. That's, that was a Splatoon noise. Jeff Keighley at the starting line. Wait, starting line? And that battle cry proves how committed Jeff is to... I also saw the Amazon logo in the background. This is an Amazon gaming thing. This dungeon is throwing everything at these contenders. Oh, the, the, the art style reminds me a lot of Rick and Morty, actually. And the chat is blowing. What is all this? Death traps, unapproved nicknames, and a giant horse trying to hoof me? An eloquent and marketing friendly description of the game. Not to mention a perfectly timed transition to the world premiere trailer for King, King of, of Meat. Meat. Ready for action? Ready for <laughs> insane in the brain? Ready for go. Oh, it's Fall Rain Guys. Falling okay. From the sky? Create, wait, never mind. From the most twisted mind. Oh, is it like Fall Guys meets uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse? Into monstrous reality. It's like a there's some, there's a little bit of combat. There's some light combat elements in there. Four player combat. Okay, I do love me some four player co-op. This could actually be fun. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of microtransactions for this one. But it could be fun. Ooh, wait, air combo. And they timed, they timed it to the beat of the trailer. They, they, this is a good editor. This is a good editor. Okay. Yeah, it's Amazon Games, which does have me a little worried. Um, could be fun. I'm, I can definitely see it being... Did they pay Jeff Keighley? They had to pay Jeff Keighley for his likeness on that one. Welcome back to Opening Night Do you have anything to say about that, Jeff? That was the announcement of King of Meat, an online co-op spectacle for one to four players from Glowmade. In Guilford, England, and Amazon Games. Yeah, there it is. Um, it does look cool. Meet.com for future play tests.
Now, one of the things I absolutely love about making these shows is that we get to introduce you to brand new games and teams. Like teams? this one, to reveal their first game from their new studio, oh. Fuzzy Bot. Oh. Please welcome Fuzzy Bot. Tatania Dislova and Max Spielberg. Wait. Aggressively bright. Guys, but welcome to O and L. I'm very excited to share this game with the world. That uh, is can some you tell us a little bit about your garish studio, color, character design. Uh, but first off, it's totally surreal to be here right now. Uh, we started the studio back in 2020, and the majority of us had um, come mm. from the I'm interested in how this industry. looks. And at the time, we were just thrilled to have our own game, our own IP, and we could never expect being on the stage tonight. At the well, end come on in, Benyon. How you doing? The vision for our studio started with the idea of dreaming big and building <clears throat> smart. The concept for our Banner first game, of the even early on, felt very unique and full of heart, and this helped us bring together a very passionate team of talented developers. You know, the, the art style looks it's makes me look Fortnite, and it makes me think Fortnite real hard. For the game that we're able to be here tonight, going way beyond where we thought we'd be. Well, I got to play this a few months ago with you guys. I had a ton of fun. Tell us a bit about your game, Linked. Yeah, so our debut game is called Linked: Banner of the Spark. It's a co-op action hack and slash with okay. a bit of roguelite and town building elements. And so we blended town these building? ideas together hmm. to create this cozy yet highly kinetic action game for players to brawl, build, and befriend. Uh, that could bang. Robots. That could bang. But I am it, very concerned about those. And you're going to take on the role as one of the last those. Were, those terms seem ever. very at odds with each Outline other. With a friendly bot faction, you're going to aim to take down the combat army hell bent on organic destruction. Players can play alone or with friends in this vibrant world of robots. Or a simpler way that I like to describe it sometimes is you go out and fight the evil robots and then collect their body parts to build a sustainable town of your dreams while saving the cute ones. We are incredibly proud to finally reveal. I have been on the lookout for some good co-op stuff. So part. like, and we hope the players get as much joy out of. I, I, show, me show me gameplay. Show me gameplay. This could be cool. Well, we're this very could be good. To but show it for, to the world yeah. for the first time, let's take a look at the world premiere reveal trailer. Thanks, guys. Okay. Okay. So we got that top-down perspective. Let me just see some. Oh, well, let me see some actual un uninterrupted gameplay footage here. Oh, that's cute. You see, no, okay, you see, in context, it actually, the, the bright colors actually work really well, right? You got Snatch, we can Snatch. Okay. Wait, no, this actually looks kind of clean. This actually looks kind of clean. I'm not super into town building. That's the thing that turned me off from Cold of the Lamp. Oh no, don't let me, don't make me do interior decoration. But if it's co-op, then maybe I just pawn that off to a friend, right? Maybe I just let somebody else be in charge of interior direct. I like that enemy design a lot. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh, we got summons? And they're very adorable. It, it, the fighting looks really solid. I just, no, don't make me fish. That's a robo fish, it looks cool. Oh God, if there's a way like, oh, if there's a way I can do co-op and just let my friends take care of all the base building well, shit, I think we that can might actually be ideal. This fact, fishing makes every video game better. Now, one of the things that I love about Gamescom is that it is a safe place for our diverse It could be good, yeah, it could be cool. And there is an amazing platform called Gamescom Cares that shares social and environmental responsibility projects that we care deeply about. Thanks leave to your friends all to of our the partners yes. who help to make this happen. You can learn more by scanning the QR code below. Perfect game for and someone now, who loves Hades too and also- Hello, Tower, how are you doing? Records, good to see you. A narrative adventure from the creative minds behind. Yeah, that's the thing. History. I do love Hades too. I adore Hades too. I cannot be fucked with to play Stardew. This is oh, this is that um, this is like um, Girls Stand by Me, right? Uh, from the from the Not Life is Strange team. Honestly, Swan, I'm glad, but slightly surprised that you showed up tonight. Uh, I saw your text. Off. Oh. All these memories came flooding back. 
She actually showed. Welcome! Yeah, life is so weird. I remember Denora. Her energy. I just... Shit! Where's this is probably really great for you if you're looking for something that speaks to a very specific experience. I remembered you. Nice one, Autumn. You were the coolest. Skateboarder's wisdom. Does it have, like, a big supernatural twist like Life is Strange? I remembered Kat. Whoa, watch out! She was like a firecracker. Serious, we're gonna need a real band name. How about Bloom and Rage? It's not about it. How could I forget? Oh, guys. Okay, and then here's the, the, the supernatural twist. Last week, oh. my mom found a package on her doorstep. Wait, our Bloom and Rage? Are we in trouble? Oh, they're doing an episodic release schedule. Yeah, it's definitely the same kind of thing. You'll excuse I'm grave. <laughs> yeah, I might end up having to rely on pre-roll for this one. Um, just because it's not really going to give me a good time to drop an ad break. That, that's okay. We deal with it. All right, so so tone shift. We got some shooters. We got some zombies. This is Southern Preacher's good atmosphere. I don't eh, Left for Dead. Oh, is this the long-awaited Zombie U sequel? Zombie Us. No more room in hell too. Okay. Sure. That game looks great. It's a uh, new look at the eight player co-op of No More Room in Hell 2. Eight player. The torn banner up in uh, Canada. Pretty cool. Where there are deadly consequences of not sticking close to your teammates and I cannot wait to check that one out. All right, our next game. Zombie use equal be crazy for 2025. Yeah. This next one at the Game Awards in you use your smartphone for the gamepad of functionality. Arc Raiders, a game that immediately struck a chord with players around the globe. A stunning future Earth where menacing Ark machines threaten humanity's attempts to rebuild. Oh, I love Ark, Ark machines. Raiders has evolved a lot since then, and now it's finally time for some news on what's next for this exciting action survival shooter. Oh, it's a Destiny killer? Okay. Interesting. I mean, Destiny is in a position to lose a lot of players right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, again, Destiny kind of told us killed itself. This place. Bungie did. Um... Listen, man's got to get his, you know, 14th classic car this year. Look at us now. Raiders. Yes, I know Zombie U came out for the PC. We're talking about a sequel, Mothman. Fire. Everything to lose. Oh, I like that suit. I like that suit. To gain. Yeah, no, it came out as just zombie, which really did not help. Uh, it, it's, uh... It, okay, wow, we got so much out of that. Um, <laughs> Destiny killed! Ooh. Wow, the tone shift has been real. This song is adorable. What the? F yeah. Whoa. Oh, fuck it up. Fuck it up. No, don't introduce a human to this situation. Oh, the edible is hitting fuckers. <laughs> Oh, they reacted the same way I did to there being a human here. This is the Automata Gucci music video for Meow. I... <laughs> this is like a 90s cartoon's depiction of watching a Japanese commercial. What do I do here? 
I get, yeah, this shit looks beautiful. What do I do? Gorgeous. What do I do? The coziest open world game. Bold. Bold. Distinctly not my thing. And then immediately with another tone shift. Back to fucking Warhammer. The boss did look like a Souls like. Yeah, no, I was expecting I was expecting combat to happen. I was really hyped actually for a second. Hello, Tox. Welcome on in. Is like Power World? It looks like even Power World without the, the forced edge and you know, not as as much of an obvious ripoff, but still. Okay. Give me gameplay. Play four days early with the old gold or ultra edition. <laughs> oh God. I've been blown away. It's so funny as a quote. Yeah. Um, uh, this apex. This is, yeah, this is, this is some game trailer shit. This is, this is 100% a hero shooter. Lovebreakers 2, yeah, the Paragon. Okay. Third person MOBA, yeah, hero shooter MOBA, live service. I think one of those, I think one of those hero designs was just Pokemane. Um, Character designs look neat. It's just nothing. I've... How many of these are just mobs? And how many of these? Are... That that dude was idling. That dude was. Uh, did any of y'all see the person just fucking idling in that footage? <laughs> Predecessor? What is that? You could have told me that we were switching to a different hero shooter at the end of that, and I wouldn't. I, I would have believed you. Um... What you saw right there was predecessor a Me and the trailer just missing out. team from the ashes of Epic Games is Paragon. If you remember that one, it enters 1.0 free to play release tonight. Next up, yeah. Path of Exile 2 from Grinding Gear Games. It is nearing release. And tonight, yes, we do have news on the early access date. Check this out. My son, are you clear of mind? and stout of heart. I Path have. of Exile, yeah. I, I didn't hear what he said at first. Um, this is Are like, you ready uh, to sacrifice? This is Conan? Sacrifice everything to become the savior. So many games start by berating me nowadays. Have you noticed this? Did FromSoft do this to us? Do we need do to be called a stinky little man at the beginning of every fucking experience? Is this just how we sell things to people? We berate I them? must. Findom has truly taken over. Okay. I mean, you got some good bosses. Oh. Oh, it's like, yeah. Oh, it's a Diablo. Like, gotcha. Um, that's... Just for people who like Diablo, it looks a little more actiony. Looks like you actually got to do some dodge roll and stuff. That's nice. To fulfill your destiny. Hi. Elsie. Elsie, Naya, how you doing? Yes. Welcome, welcome. There, there, something came on that I thought was going to be Apex, and it wasn't. I was almost excited for you. Um, well, that looks absolutely. I mean, the, the, great. if Can't the a, if the game plays a little, now, some of the ac attack animations were kind of clean. The cosplay, the vision and dedication cosplayers put into their craft is an inspiration to us all. And to see these amazing cosplayer, cosplayers, you can tune into the Gamescom Cosplay Awards on Saturday, August twenty fourth at five p.m. Uh, okay, yeah, I was and like, I was like, are we taking a break? Games, 
who isn't. You can what? watch the best in these why is this? Why is this in the middle of your game announcements? Awesome in these show tomorrow at 8 p.m. on Twitch and YouTube. Enjoy exclusive announcements. She almost said cosplay and nerd. Listen, she's it's trying. Exciting one-hour show hosted by Shay. Thompson. She's actually doing. She's doing a great Plus, job. You can Gamescom hear a little bit of accent arena. coming through. I am standing right uh, now. You are. It is it's the biggest and most elaborate not her first stage language, language, but like Gamescom featuring not only opening night. Trust me, talking talking on a stage like that's fucking hard, man. Creators, gaming events and esports competitions that you can watch. Y'all know how many lines I've flubbed by tuning in online. Now, up next is a first look at the gameplay of June Awakening. Oh, yeah, I forgot there was the a Doom game. World survival MMO. Oh. And news on when it's going like, to be I was like, oh, release. my God, real-time strategy? They're bringing it back? And I was... There is you just said a whole bunch of words that turned me off. Uh, do you miss anything good? Um, Nothing that I've been super hyped for. There have been some interesting-looking games. Um, there's one, like... There's a, there's a potentially cool co-op game. Um, that could be neat. It's got like Again, some top-down hack and flash, but also some base your building stuff. Choose your background. So it'd be and like we were playing Hades and crash into like the planets. You a are base a build, town builder at the same time. Anyone? But like if some if somebody wants to take over town building, I'm down. <laughs> Hunted by sandworms. Yeah, the popcorn buff. Good. Yeah. Scorched by the unforgiving sun. Oh my God! What if they're um? Stick to the shade. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you need a survival shows. game. You gotta worry Survive. about heat exhaust, heat Welcome stroke. You gotta be worry about water. The most dangerous planet. What if they just in put the in universe. fucking, like, pay to win mechanics and just buy some Meet survival aspects? In the vast online world, befriend or betray those you meet. Form a wary alliance. In this case, a spit dart rifle and a still suit for your help taking down territorial deserters. Working sure. with others will always increase your chance of staying alive. The there's some, base. there's some like dedicated like role play Climb streamers who are probably going to get a lot of use out of this game. And prepare for violence. Your choice of weapons and abilities determines your strategy. Swordmasters lead the charge into battle, literally. Ha! <laughs> hit him with They'll the Captain Falcon knee. With a shield and then take them out. One. Five, one. Deploy the hunter seeker and kill from the shadows. Take what you Whoa, can. Oh, that is a janky cover animation. Nothing of value is wasted. You notice that every enemy he shot dropped to their knees. They, they, they're they full Fortnite in it, huh? To build bases and unlock more advanced equipment, like the blood purifier. Refine the blood you collected from your enemies to extract drinkable water. Oh, sweet. Craft improved equipment using fabricators. Yummy, delicious Replicate blood. Replicate your bases in new locations with the blueprint system. And there's the base and then building. Sell yeah. Blueprints of your architectural wonders to other players. Let us use a laser gun on our shielded enemy, cause a nuclear explosion. A if they're not cowards. A nameless prisoner can rise, construct an ornithopter, and take to the air. The world is yours to claim. This is Dune Man I mean, Dune fans are really eating good with this, I guess. That is a dope fucking ship. The in-game radio provides insight into key events happening across Arrakis. Who did they make this game for? Dune heads! Who we'll also run roleplay focused Twitch stream accounts. And desert testing stations. Filled with forgotten technology. Arrakis is a vast planet. You can explore unique locations. I wonder how many separate resources. servers they'll need. And search for secrets. Like just based on how many people are playing this game. The the an MMO where like you're able and to then, change around the environment does have like a lot of promise, right? Long term, but you got to be really careful Watch with player you. numbers. Hard Minecraft RTX. Yeah. People, spice traders, guild bankers, smugglers, house envoys, and of course other players questionable tonally to the series will pledge allegiance to one of the great houses of june yeah the harkonnen go straight for harkonnen Remember, okay to play politics you need power and on arrakis spice is power in the deep desert beyond the shield wall hundreds of players scour the landscape 
hunting for spice. Every spice blow has the potential okay, so to we... become a heated battle. With multiple wait, if it become... vying for the wait, precious wait. Milan. Now I'm realizing, what if this Even is just EVE Online? Like defeat is inevitable. What if this just ends up being Those EVE Online and we watch people like... Power. Destroy yeah, actual real-world currency versus conflicts in-game. That is exactly- Hello, Marley! How you doing? Good to see ya. <laughs> yeah, no, wait. I, I, okay, I'm not gonna play this game. I'm really hoping we get some major, like, clan wards out of it that, that, that gets to some EVE-level shenanigans. That would be really cool. Eve online with June's economy. Yeah, that's actually well, kind of uh, a hook. You can't that's have kind a of a hook. Game without the sandworms, and the sandworm summoning begins when June Awakening drops on PC early 2025. The sandworm the summoning finally begins. And now, new stream a title of a new game from Tarsier Studios, the creators. This is my new going live notification. Yeah, I'm excited to see other people go. By. Exactly. THQ Nordic still around. The little nightmares, people. Wait. Nothing lasts forever. Oh, sheepy. Tiny nightmares. Oh yeah, these I've never played the little nightmares games, but I've seen people play through um, bits of them and they're always so striking visually. This studio's amazing at just doing framing, yeah! The power of a fucking consistent camera angle. Yo, ma! Okay, it's not Little Nightmares 3, it's its own thing. Reanimal, that looks intense. That looks dope. That looks very stunning and striking. Oh my God. That was Reanimal, the next a... big entry in the cozy game genre. Yeah! <laughs> now, would you oh, like to no, discover no. the Oh no, no, don't let that joke die. Content. Thank you for making it. Rewards? Well, meet Epi, the robot on our website, RPG Gamescom Epics. Prove your nerd know-how, solve tricky puzzles, win prizes, gather trading cards, digital trading cards, and jump from level to the level. Until Dawn so devs are like in Little Nightmare. Spawn. That's actually Stand pretty cool the too. Code below and the adventure. But yeah, just like really striking visuals for now that. I love it. Here as an evolving open world adventure, today Genshin Impact is unveiling more about the sixth nation of Natlan, which oh. will be released on August Okay. 28. And we um, also have some news about when the game will be coming to Xbox. Great. L love it. Game shit impact. Um, I am going to uh, take this opportunity to run to the bathroom and throw on an ad break real quick. Um, I'm not going to go BRB. People who are subscribed can continue watching their gentians. Um, but I'm, 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 we need to run an ad roll at some point or ad break at some point. I want no pre-roll. Um, this is definitely the best time to do it. Uh, BRB fuckos.
There you go, Genshin Impact, and also coming to Xbox later this year, as we saw. Oh, right. That was now a very time convenient time. I really need to piss. Of Monster Hunter, which is playable oh, for fans for the first time. Okay, wait. I should pause. I should pause. I should pause for this. I should pause for this. Um, we should. We should. We, uh, I know people are excited for this one. I should wait till people get out of ad hell for it. Um, it's not. I, I, Monster Hunter's always been on my periphery, right? I know people who really, really adore it, who's, who in generally like games that I tend to like. Um, I know that people, um, I know that, like, I mean, people are really into it. I, I've heard that this new one's going to be open world, which means if, if we were going to, uh, if there was any Monster Hunter that was going to hook me for the series, it would not be this one. But, but I'm excited for people who, you know, who, 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 who are into it. Um, I'm just going to take a little hydrate, nice sip of water. Um, thank fuck this is a YouTube stream, so we can pause, right? Um, I wasn't going to do it for the fucking Genshin, but um, I, I do know people are psyched for Mon Hun and just kind of want to wait till they're back. I'm Thus far, I'm actually kind of interested like that. That one co-op hack and slash actually might might have my attention a bit, right? Um, I might I might be into that. I might need to look into getting some friends together with it. The Little Nightmares one, Reanimal, I think it was called. That one is also pretty dope. Um, I could be into that as well, um, potentially. But I know people just want to see their they they want to they want to fight their big monsters with their big weapons and craft their nice armors, and I get that, right? Uh, they should be back from ad break. Any minute now. This has been fun, though. It's been nice getting to uh, react to all this shit, right? But, yeah, I know. Agreed, Banyan. I, I, I think Rianimal, like, definitely the most striking one we've seen so far. Uh, I think people should be back from ad break right now. We did pause uh, because it looks like it's Mon Hun time. Here at Gamescom, so we're like a minute or two behind. Booth, but now but I know people are waiting for this. Show us more. Please welcome to the Gamescom ONL stage, Ryozo Tujimoto from Capcom. Ryozo san. Hey, Capcom, I really wish this wasn't the thing that you were here for, but I know people are going to be eating real good with this. The first time we've had a live translator tonight. Hello to all of my friends in Germany and to the millions watching around the globe. It's so much to remember. I'm always impressed by how long these people. The opening night live stage, so I can share a new Monster Hunter Wilds trailer with everyone. Okay, new trailer. Yeah, the Mon Hun talk started off, and I, I decided to pause to let people give people some time to pop in. Yeah, your translators with the short-term memory, like, I would not be able to at all. Before we debut the trailer, I just want to express how excited I am to kick off our season of Monster Hunter Wild's hands-on demos starting at Gamescom. Now, oh, wow. let's take a look at the latest trailer. All right. I, did, I will say, I love all of the animal design in these games. Is this the lull of Barina Flores? We must be near its nest. They're, they're really nailing that Capcom, uh, like, f almost photorealistic, but still stylized style. Ooh! Oh, I like this one. Ooh, we do, she do a little pirouette. How girly pop is that? Yo, she's great. I always see, think it's really cool when you get to see the monsters fight each other, too. That's neat. Hello, Amber. Welcome on in. How you doing? It's her bad summer. Yeah. The weapons look a lot faster than I remember seeing Monster Hunter weapons. Once your business here is concluded, you should find shelter. The sands come alive. Oh, I like her. Oh, she got big hair. Beast bristling with lightning. From the look of it, 
That must be this region. The, 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 I think they're called palicos, the little cat guys. I love them. Again, like I really enjoy a lot of Monster Hunters like world building. Oh god, they made a movie. They made, they made a like real, real garbage movie, right? That just like completely divorced from the series. I forgot about that. Oh, Palico is a job tile. Feline is a species name. Gotcha. I love that. Oh, yeah. There's like a definite fantasy to these games. I totally understand. It looks beautiful, yeah. I with the right people to party up with, I imagine it would be a pretty good time, yeah. Hello, F. Yeah, ooh, give me that steak. Oh, tasty. Good, good final shot to end on. Good final shot to end on. Danger. Laura Croft? Every turn. Bl Blade Point Naraka X Tomb Ra What the fuck? Secrets. Wait, what? Yo, Destiny. that design kind of goes. Everything lost. Crazy collab. Is meant to be found. What? What does that even mean? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! What? Yo, hey. My Shiner Nui. Yeah, that's all you need. I'm sold. Yeah. Want a little taste of? Fire? Yes, I do. Wait, is she like getting? Is she like getting her own game, or is she just coming to King of Fighters or something? I say, I love her. Okay, let's see the classic costume though. Like, not Street Fighter Six. But there she. Oh wait, she is in Street Fighter Six, right? That's not Street Fighter Six. Yeah, oh, Fatal Fury. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The new Fatal Fury. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, love to see it. Love that she's back. Oh, God. Uh, no thigh windows. We got him. We got him eventually, okay? Oh, is this a mecha break? Or... I think Aya played, um, played the demo. I have the demo. I should try it out. I should try this out. That's just a Sasabi right there. I do like that they just throw in the Sasabi. Oh, you really enjoyed the, the, the beta test? Interesting, okay. I imagine a lot of it's finding the right class for you. That's, that's probably not me, but damn, that's fun. Um, yeah, okay, this is, wait, is that Exia? If you let me play as essentially Gundam Exia, I'm 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 down. I have a Corvin. <laughs> Mecha Mayhem. Sure. Okay. Missing systems on play. I don't care that much about cu customization in something like this. Okay, next we have something exciting for fans of Monument Valley, the beautiful twisted puzzle game that we all played about a decade ago. When it was first released in uh, 2014. I and did tonight, not, but we are revealing sure. Monument Valley 3 coming later this year from there was a second one? London and Netflix games. I played this. It is an absolutely beautiful story. Wait, with game. Netflix games? You got your first look right now. Huh. I know Netflix also partnered with um Enter the Breach. Or Into the Breach, yeah. Oh, take care, Doctor. You see, see you around, okay? Thanks for stopping by. Hail Satan. This looks gorgeous. I've never really seen this game around or like uh, the other ones, but I never played it myself. That's cool. Oh, That's how you played it into the breach of Terranel. I know that Terranel. That looks pretty. 
looks very pretty. Looks like it's probably a neat one. Also, also coming to Netflix. So it's not exclusive to Netflix. Good. But they're, they're getting the older ones too, which is Monument nice. Valley Good on them. Good on them. Exclusively on Netflix, no. December 10th, 2020. No, no. I thought it was. Yeah. Oh. First released in oh. 1991. Oh, that's unfortunate. Civilization is one of the gaming industry's oh, that's real unfortunate. biggest franchises. And here at Gamescom, we are revealing the gameplay of Civilization 7 for the first time. Holy so tell shit! Tell us more. Please welcome Ed Beach from Firaxis Games. This is not something I was expecting. Okay, I did not assume, but, but wow. Sure. Fuck, they're still making these. God damn, I know they're making the seventh. Thank you, Shox. Thank you, Gamescom. It's hard to believe that it's been almost eight years since Firaxis released our last Civilization game. So we're incredibly honored to be here tonight at Gamescom talking about Civilization 7. Okay. Civ 7. I have no idea this is happening. Civ 7 is by far the biggest, most ambitious game Firaxis has ever made. Everything from its new gameplay features to its gorgeous new art style is designed oh, new to art immerse style. you in your own journey through oh, history. I want to see what this looks Please like. Please join us after opening night live on the Fraxis Game Twitch channel for our official gameplay showcase, where we'll deep okay. dive into what's new and so hang out later and finally little, reveal yeah. our new in-game narrator. On behalf of the team at Fraxis, new in-game narrator who is so it? Who is it? This game, if it's so Matt Berry, I'm going to lose my to shit. Finally, give the world its first look at Sid Meier's Civilization Seven. Please. We need a game narrated by Nat, Matt Berry, like just in general. Civilization was a game that was created during a time when we were just discovering what games could be. And we said, let's put the entire history of the world into a game and make it fun. Oh, thank you for, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think I've heard of that. Thank goodness you're here, yes. Need to look that up just because Matt Berry, right? It is pretty. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Just going all the way through history, <laughs> yeah. I wanna see I wanna see the vision of the future we have. <laughs> I really dig this art style actually. It looks nice. It looks very clean and readable, and there we go. There's the future tech. Not space travel is not exclusive to the future, but you know what I mean. Um, districts are upgrading. Ever since we first reached for the stars, okay, we've been asking ourselves what else is out there. And oh, it's like Starfield or something. Um, can we drive on it? Wait, wait. Why is this? Why is this like an actual car commercial? <laughs> I feel like somebody's trying to market a cyber truck to me right now. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, I sleep. So I can't slow down. No, I can't go down. Go ahead and pass the light. Velocity at unsafe levels. God, this game's going to break 
so fucking hard thanks to this one thing. Rev 8 has landed. I love having an entire trailer for a single vehicle. Um, it's free. That's nice. It's nice it's free, yeah, yeah. There's two bits of Starfield news for you and a confirmation of the expansion Shattered Space that is coming out on September 30th. Now it's All time right. for an exclusive update on Marvel Rivals, the upcoming hero shooter oh. for Eddie's Games and Marvel Games. Tonight at ONL, we're revealing two new heroes who it's are always the game a hero the shooter. At their gameplay. It's always a hero shooter. Well, that was actually fun. I'm sure I just cannot bother to give a fuck. Found a new home and a new I don't even know who's all in this already, this so basically I'm, basically all of this just comes across as a, a reveal to me. Um, the uh, Winter Soldierman. I would assume that Captain America would have already been in there, right? Oh, no. I guess he's a reveal. Um, no. Hello, you, man. Welcome on in. Um, I don't, no, you're not Shadow Man or anything. No, I... See your message right there. Your battle's over. Okay, um. Yeah, we see you, Vivi. Well, come on in. How you doing? Good to have you here. I do. That just looks so janky to me. Like, I just. I look at this and I just. All I can think is, wow, this looks like it controls like ass. I, I just, I just don't, I, I don't do like the way anything day. looks in these hero shooters. I don't like the way they move. I, uh, um, hello, Chipper. Welcome on in. Hey, say, DGM, how you doing? How you doing? What's for having the actual game, but that is true. That is true. Welcome on in. Um. Yeah, no, no idea, Vivi. I well, don't I'm know. Sure Might have been something with your internet connection. You know, Marvel Rivals will launch on December 6, 2024. Now, Gamescom always strives to help the environment, and the event runs on 100% renewable energy and is climate friendly thanks to ongoing measures cool. to reduce CO2 emissions. Exhibitors participate in the Gamescom Goes Green initiative by I feel like they're giving her everything that like they're giving her every yes, announcement that like people aren't going to clap for. The Gamescom forest. The She's forest like Jeff Keighley's ego buffer or something. Thanks to all of your engagement. And We're all dunking on Overwatch for that for you. Oh, I didn't see they're free. Good on them for that, you know. Overwatch is very easy to dunk on right now, though. It is time to reveal the winner. I've never seen an Overwatch fan say something positive about Overwatch. Global game industry committed to sustainability and the environment. Presenting the award, please welcome back Lisa Puck with Playing for the Planet. I was cutting the music a little too early, a little too loud. No, she's a good presenter. I think, yeah, she's perfectly fine. Hello, Gamescom. Thank you for having me again. Well, it is our absolute pleasure. The music is loud as fuck. <laughs> some people Hello, Oz. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Quick refresher. Lisa represents Playing for the Planet, an alliance of gaming organizations committed to taking climate action under the official umbrella of the United Nations. So how are things, Lisa? Things are going great. Thank you. With 3.3 billion people around the world playing video games, we encourage everyone to make a difference wherever possible. Absolutely, and 3.3 sure. billion players is so, so much. So do you have any tips for our players on supporting this great initiative? Yes, definitely. Oof. It's as easy as remembering to set up energy saving modes to avoid unnecessary energy consumption or switching to- I feel so bad for this girl just being given everything that people aren't going to clap for. Your carbon footprint. Everything will make a difference. Absolutely, every bit helps. Those are great tips, and I already utilize some of those myself. And I hope a lot more. Oh, people will. this is but now, this is. Let's celebrate some of the kind of sad. Done by gaming companies. Yes. Yeah, but the, the gaming companies actually need to. I if anyone can set ambitious decarbonization. Me setting my fucking energy saving settings isn't going to do a fraction of what any given corporation puts out. Come on. A clear and actionable plan, as well as collaboration. 
And this year's winner has proven that it's possible to deliver, to deliver ambition with execution across the board. I feel cynical and distrustful. Yeah! It's sad that those are the instincts that are brought out by me by something like this, but I see the corporate art file. I am. The vice chairman of Tencent Games. Don't develop with AI. Don't mine crypto. Don't buy new computers. Yeah. Don't fire a third of your employees. Uh, first of all, let me say on behalf of Tencent Games how honored we are to. Uh, Tencent? Uh, you know, Tencent Games uh, encompasses a lot of things, you know, everything from in-house studios like Timmy, global studios Please like tell me Shark what Tencent Knox, has done to earn this global publishing our environmental product, consideration. But also a commitment to operating our business in a sustainable way. We are committed to carbon neutrality by 2030 and really want to thank all of our studios, all of our partners, but most of all, all of our players whose support is essential to helping us drive our uh, uh, efforts to... Uh, uh, our efforts to have positive change within the industry. Thanks again, and back to the games. Congratulations, Tencent and Brent Irvin. Yeah, eat your slop, gamers. <laughs> but that is not our only award. Everyone here and at home can vote for their favorite games playable at Gamescom in this year's Gamescom Awards. You can visit. I Gamescom can't play any games at Gamescom. I'm not there. Voting will only be open until Thursday, August 22nd at 2 p.m. And the awards will then. This be feels like a made-up award. Friday yeah. At 2 p.m. at Gamescom Studio. Back to you, Jeff. Thank you, Shocks. You're doing a great job tonight. All right. Oh, he so feels bad for her really too. For you. Please he knows she was set up. He knows she was set up. Love Death and Robots and the co-founder of Blur Studio, Tim Miller. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. Blur Studio has been making cinematics for over 30 years now. That means classics like Quake, Star Wars, Warhammer, Call of Duty, and dozens and dozens more. And we do this because we fucking love video games. You love me a video game. And every time a trailer comes online, we see hundreds and hundreds of comments from the fans, like, why don't we see a movie oh, like that's this? Oh, Why can't we have a series like this? Oh, Sifu trailer. Not agree more, which is why we are so excited to share this series with you. 15 original episodes I see you, my created guy. in collaboration with Amazon Studios and the publishers and developers of some of the world's greatest games. Wait, for I'm the- talking new titles, existing games, indies, and classic. It was like an anthology so, series? We've been working on this show for three years. Um, I get a little upset, <laughs> choked up. Yo, so he's I, been, he's very emotional I here. I cry yeah. a lot. Sorry. Right. <laughs> See, bud. I feel ya. <clears throat> All right. We've been working on it for three years. And I'm very emotional because I'm so excited. Uh, and is it's he too human on the left? That would be amazing. The world premiere teaser of Seeker Level. Yeah, bud. Oh, I love this guy. It is our love letter to games. And you can watch the series on Amazon Prime Video oh. on December 10th. Uh. Not too far now. So enjoy. Thank you. Uh, if only we're on Amazon Prime, but... Okay, so they... So it's just a shit ton of different properties. That's kind of... I don't know how I feel about that, but... Potentially cool. Like, yeah! You see, that's the thing, though. It's It's got Sifu! It's got Sifu! Like... And Love, Death, and Robots is pretty neat. Like, that's a good team to hand it to. It is you. You will open the... Wait, is that for spoken? <laughs> because you are the chosen. And the good thing about it being an anthology series is I can just watch one episode on its own and not have to worry about the others, but. It's a new adventure. He's an Augie? Just for you. Yeah, I saw Mega Man, I thought.
Uh, Sifu! <laughs> Returnal? Yeah, Sifu! <laughs> that was Mega Man, yeah! Come in. You have a game to play. I hope there's not a big cheesy framing device behind all of this. Spelunky was in there? That's crazy though. Oh, Age of Mythology! Did you remove the fucking AI art? Did you remove the AI art? Because I don't give a fuck until you do! No matter what armies you face. I know they didn't, yeah. It's impossible for me to be excited by this. Which sucks, because this is such a huge part of my fucking childhood. And they're adding shit to it? Dope, but I can't give a fuck. Uh, I grew up on RTSs. I don't really play them nowadays. Um, it happened in a while. The last RTS that I played was uh, Pikmin 3, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, this is a huge... That, 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 that TV series is potentially huge. Well, like, the, the, the cool thing about that TV series is, like, there's, there's potential for, like... It's this... Almost any game or series can get a one-off, full-on, self-contained episode of this show, right? Um, and so, like, there's a possibility that other games can get picked up for, like, one-off episodes. That's dope. I'm, I'm into that. I like it when they, yes, and then they're animating it and not making it live action. That's huge. That's great. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about this garish art style, but that being said, I do like me a beat em up. I'm not a big fan of the color choices in this one, I'm gonna be honest, but could be cool. I, I might check that out. Yeah, little castle crashers, yeah. This is our shootermans. He shoot, he gun. Yes, in class. Welcome on in. Ah, the zero dam. Between the Alsara Guard and Havoc. Kind of dust Elysian tail, yeah, which basically looks like a Neopets game. Alsara Guard is a tempest of disorder. Sowing chaos wherever it roams. But we are home to strike at their very core. This is taking me right back to. I mean, speaking of Caden Lynch 2, this is taking me back to fucking. Like 2008. Cutting edge <laughs> technology, but is built on exploitation and suffering. United, we will plunge into the chaos. Oh, oh, sh. Built on exploitation and suffering, that's exactly what the United States military intervenes in. We are GTI. No one gets left behind. Delta Force Hawk Ops. This is an Xbox 360. Yeah, it's very PS360 coded. These like the, the, the exact thing MGS4 trailers are making fun of. October in advance of its early access release later this year. All right, let's head back to the Middle Ages for a new look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 with its authentic rendition of 15th century Bohemia as an action role-playing game. Oh, what? I have concluded a very fragile... Hawk Ops is with... Yes, thank you, Zriff. That's... No, no, it's like... It, it's got, like, the Hawkeye problem where it sounds like you're saying hot guy every time. Just running some Hot Ops. I intend to wage war, not parley. Everything all right, eh? We need more people. The best thing would be to recruit from your old comrades. Hell, if they're not already swinging on the gallows. Maybe not Mimey Core in terms of the gameplay, but definitely the setting. Will you help us, Henry? They are nailing just the the big shitty serfdom aspects. We play this thing? Oh, fair enough. Yeah, 
They're doing the good thing where you cut the mute. You cut different hits on, on different beats of the the soundtrack. That's nice. That's good. Good editing on this. Music's good, yeah. I first person melee combat is very not my thing, but people who are into that like definitely that getting their food. Already. Seems to be nailing the tone at least. The atmosphere. Just just life in the land of there the surf. Much more from that game coming this week during Gamescom. Now last month the ARPG Zenless Zone Zero was released from Hoyoverse, uh, and now we've got the debut of a brand new area uh, of new era new. Check it out. Uh, I mean, character designs in this look nice. I can I, I I can say that about most gotcha. That's kind of what they sell themselves on. Um, I just I look at the gameplay and I just I fall fucking asleep. I I just fall fall asleep immediately. Is that a new character design? Because she looks kind of identical to like. There's like a shark girl, who's also got black hair or something. I can't. He's supposed to be a rat. I like the weapon. I like the little weapon, but yeah. Um, people love the shark mate. I got some friends who really love the shark mate. Fair enough. Like she cute. Um, uh, all the designs in this game are just so fucking over designed to me. It's a, it's that it's that gotcha game, like live service. Like everybody looks like a very standard corporate VTuber design. And like a lot of time, the character designers are the same as the cor corporate VTubers buyer. I just, everything just fades away into nothing for me. I just can't. It made me feel extremely get generation gaps. God same, yeah. Like I just want to buy a game and have all the shit. If I got to unlock it through gameplay, that's fine. As long as it's reasonable, but like, oh, it's still going. One black and one black. Hoyo versus always still going. General Fei Shao. I know her well. You do? There's Star Rail. I did. They all look. They're all the same. It's all the same shit to me. It's all the same shit to me. Fought her way in and out of enemy ranks seven times. With a single strike, she knocked down a hundred enemies. A thousand. No, ten thousand. I. You are exaggerating. I just don't. I just don't. In the form of a beast rushing forward like lightning. I shouted among the ruins. There's like some neat color choices here. I just. I don't care. Little girl. Do you know how to get to the indistinguishable from like 90% of the characters if that you could tell me that's a new character or the long-standing protagonist I wouldn't I, I wouldn't be able to tell you Oh wait, is there a skip a actually wait a second Um, because we because we paused for a little bit. Oh wait Wait, fate say They're introducing fate say Oh, but it doesn't say who. I didn't see. I, well, okay, whatever. Rail and Fei Shao, a female general known for her prowess in martial. You're still talking about this. Meta Quest Three. I played a demo of this. Oh, Master Meta Quest. Team. Camouflage has done an incredible job. Little train conductor guy's cute. Yeah. Again, like there's guaranteed to be here. some good character designs in any gotcha like this, right? But just everything Jack around it feels so empty to me. Um. VR Batman game. <laughs> I do like the. I do like how in any VR game footage that you see, like the demoer is always just doing doing like grabby hands the entire time. The corrupt system has failed you. Are you not angry? You know, like if you're gonna do a VR game, like sure, Batman would game would be fun. I can see that be fun, it being fun, or whatever. Oh no, it's still got the little It's still got the rhythm game on indicators. It's just it's Arkham. Anywhere. A face in the crowd, a foot soldier in his own fanatical mob. 
So how in the hell do we find him? Targets are all city employees. You got the grippers out, yeah. Employees. Public officials. You grab him. You could have been more than a symbol. You could have been. Do you a get god. to apply the the eyeshadow in VR too? You don't calm down. Someone's going to die. Alfred, we tried it your way. Now we do it mine. Something big's going down tonight. Like VR stealth has always been an intriguing pro concept and grapples lend themselves really nicely to VR. We repress our rage. <sighs> our fears. You got some Batman gadgets, yeah. Feeds the shadow deep inside us. You're everything that's wrong with Gotham. I'm done holding My back. favorite Batman villain, the fucking Electro Cop. I can bring the Rat King to you. Oh shit. <laughs> No, let me control rats. Let me give me a rat king. Give me a rat king game. Give me a rat catcher two game where where I where I'm still a narcoleptic and I, my headset randomly shuts off. Well, that trailer was buzzing and the whole city is buzzing during this week of games. And this weekend, the heart of our beloved gaming metropolis, Cologne, will transform into the vibrant games. Oh, for city a second, I thought they were about to market Cologne to me, but they're talking about the city. Stages in the city center I never Cologne. thought of Cologne as a gaming metropolis, but all right. Guests. Now, if you haven't been there yet, you should definitely go and check it out. That is what's happening in Cologne and also people from more than a hundred Yeah, the more dedicated furries in my what? chat are all, all rattling off their all VR the specifications. I have good news. Gamescom is heading Go to figure. other continents. The first Gamescom Latam took place heard in someone the say Dark God Hand is Dark Souls X Doom? fans immersed in the gaming. Oh. Universe. It was a fantastic show and next year it's going oh. to be even bigger. And oh man! Gamescom Asia returns this I October. Don't know. Enjoy it's it on the not. Fun <laughs> area to find out all about the games, the stage. Do when the you have the the rage push. up power up. You know when you can get open, fisty. Or you can also tune in to our online show Primetime on October seventeenth. Now, who is ready for another world premiere? How would you subscribe God Hand to someone who's never seen it? Announced Playable Kung Fu Hustle. Here is a new look at Little Nightmares 3. Oh, so Little Nightmares 3 is a thing that's happened. Yeah, no, somebody mentioned that earlier. I know this is a Bamco game. No. They're working together. Is it co-op? Uh oh, we're supposed to be kind of like eco. We're still a one-player game. It takes two, two. Oh, hey oh. No, this looks this looks great. This looks like a vibe. Me and Kobe playing this? Oh, fuck yeah. Shut her up. That ah, looks neat. Looks neat. Looks promising. I, I still gotta play the first ones. Oh shit, the Firewatch studio. Wait a second. Oh, oh, a creature. La creatura. Papo yo too? I'm a herder. You play as a herder. Ah, uh, it does not look like my thing, but it's kind of adorable. Yeah, Orox Herder.
What are you bringing them to do? Hurdling, that's a cute name. Kinda looks like me if you made me real floofy. Yeah. I, I'm, I just, there's going to be some horrific, tragic twist at the end of it, right? You guys like that one? That's a beautiful game. Hurdling from Panic and Okamotive, and I'm so glad we Like, you bring them to the top of the mountain, it's okay, like, okay, time to sacrifice all of them. Us next. I grew up and you have to skin them as a minigame. Many of you did too. Titles like Populous, Dungeon Keeper, Magic Carpet, Theme Park, Black and White, and Fable. And tonight oh, wow. he's here Wait. to reveal his brand new game, Wait. which he's secretly been working on for the past three years. No way. Please join me, Gamescom, in welcoming to ONL. Peter Molyneux. Press F to Dell. Press F to Dell. What the? Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Over deliver to me, baby. <gasps> Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. He's already talking. He's back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what an incredible honor it is to be here on the stage with Jeff. Yes. Peter, oh man. Amazing. It's this is so fun. So a couple months ago, you and I had lunch in London. I was like, "What are you working My on?" My new like, game oh, sucks your dick and game. gives you a twenty dollar bill. Yeah, very quiet about it. Yep. I really wanted to like the game speak for itself. But tell us about Masters of Albion. Right. Masters so, of Albion. Messing around on mobile. What the hell was I doing? <laughs> I thought to myself, <laughs> I need. To oh, he was just satisfying his curiosity. To PC on console. So I've looked at Dungeon Keeper. I've taken some things that I've wanted to explore further with Dungeon Keeper. I've done the same with Black and White. I've taken the things from Black and White. I've done the same with Fable. And this is what I'm showing tonight. Well, and to your credit, you've self-funded this project. To what yourself. credit? you put together a team of a lot of veterans yeah. from those games. Yeah, I mean, I, I think my first realization is I needed to bring the old team back together again. So. I'm working with people like Mark Healy and Russell Shaw and Ian Wright, the people that helped on and created Black and White Dungeon Keeper and Fable. Anyway, let's have a look at Masters of Albion. All right, here's the world premiere. Promise Master me the Albion, world. Peter Molyneux. This is Masters of Albion. We're a team of 20 people dedicated to making something new, unique, and different. Here we are in game in footage, the okay. Vast world of Albion, packed with stories, quests, treasures, and monsters. This is Oak Ridge. By day, you're tasked with building the town up, gaining resources, and earning money. Oh my god, it's fucking mad with them, yeah. The town will be attacked by many of Albion's creatures. You can design anything. The food that people eat, the clothes they wear, the weapons they use. <laughs> oh boy! There is a strategy behind every creation. I can even feed them rats. My town's working hard to make that food. The hand, it really is a Peter Molyneux game. Or... I can also design, customize, and create all buildings. Oh yeah, that's a... <laughs> so does the roof just hang out there on the ground? Are you gonna do something with that or? Night is coming. <laughs> We're just leaving it there. We're just leaving it there. And now my town needs defending against the horrors of Albion. And this is my hero's time to shine. You don't have to play in God mode. At any point, you can possess a character. I'm oh, Goblin to... Commander, yeah. My hero is now under my complete control. And now it's time to fight. Oh boy! Oh yeah, that's a... That is what it would feel like if you were controlling an RTS character. <laughs> Let's switch back to God mode and unleash some real power. Okay, we, we exited from that real now, quick. Let's design a better weapon for my hero. You can be as silly as you want. Ah, oh, yes, a bread sword. Just won't cut it. Shout out to a great YouTube channel. This is just a glimpse of Masters of Albion, an open world god game 
full of combat, choices, mystery. And okay, I can't. It's available to wishlist on Steam. You can't yeah. fault him for overpromising here. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Squid Game's real. How, how many? Isn't this like three years too late? Hot cultural property squid game. I love how they've gone from a serious examination of how capitalism makes monsters of us all and just turn into full on Gooferton Looney Tune syndrome. Like we're slapsticking it up. We've just gone completely any any intention behind the creation of Squid Game from an artistic or message standpoint has been completely obliterated by this point. Countless times. Who I was. Who I might become. That's how it deals with critique, yeah. Futures existing in motion. It is time. Uh, this isn't... To awaken. What is this supposed to be a trailer for? Forspoken to. Oh wait, possessing? Oh, you can possess people? Wait a second. Oh. Yeah, this could actually fuck. Is my duty, my journey, to step into the unknown. Wow. Okay, that's that looks kind of dope. Oh no, no! Don't if you immediately hit me with the pre-order bonus uh, uh, infographic, I lose so much excitement. Don't milk it. It looks like a cool game. Bad, bad title, yeah, very, very generic title, but like, it looks wise, could be neat. This is just, it's an arrow of these. Unknown Nine is certainly a name. Yeah, that's the, they're burying it with that. I mean, just watch Animal Olympic drawing up. Like, I cannot tell you. This looks, this certainly looks browner and grayer than the other shooters we've seen thus far. I think out of everything we've seen so far tonight, this has been the brownest and grayest that, that you know, to, to show itself. It's like a full mental reset for me every time one of these come on screen. I I will never remember you, Arena Breakout Infinite. Arena Breakout Infinite. Hey, Rummy, how you doing, girl? Welcome on in. Good to have you here. The full release coming at the end of the year. Now, over the years, Blizzard has been a big part of Gamescom history, oh. and this week we are thrilled to welcome them back for the first time since 2019. We were a little bit behind live, behind live, so I'm just gonna. Skip forward. Is, okay, this is live. Damn, cool damn. Cool I could. That's all I could skip. And we'll be finding. Uh, that's all I could skip. I'm sorry. Um, together. 
Um, and also be on the lookout. Hello, Alcon and Rummy. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm an official co streamer. Um, we are unfortunately at a point where I'm just not going to. Exciting. Um, now, I, I, I did my best to skip through as much of it. Yeah. Are they going to get in and celebrate these anniversaries too? They are. This actually might be a time to hop in an ad break. Um, I'll, I won't mute, but I'll, 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 I'll move it down. Yeah, because I don't really care. I just, uh, go do my laundry. Yeah, honestly, just, I'm physically incapable of, of, of caring or, or saying anything remotely positive. Um, oh boy, they put in, they put Overwatch in World of Warcraft or vice versa. Great. Um, a lot of nerves showing its face right now. Yeah, honestly, um, like, I just, I just, I just, like for me of all people, like I've talked some real shit about Diablo on this stream already. Um, like, um, I just, uh, I don't even like the, the aesthetic of Diablo. Like it's just no appeal to me. It's, it's vampire survivors without the fun. Um, so take a look on behalf of the vessel of hatred. No, I don't. A sequel to what I consider to be legitimately the worst game I've ever played. So, <laughs> uh, his nickname is German for yes rule. Oh, Ja Rule. Wait, did Ja Rule show up? What? I miss. I miss Ja Rule. Oh, German for the <laughs> Um. And so it was roped into Diablo 4, yeah. I mean, at least it's not one that, there was like that mobile one that was like ridiculously greedy, right? Um, hello, well, Will, welcome on in. Um, what'd you miss, what'd you miss? Cause yeah, like I could give a fuck about what's going on screen right now. Um, uh, what, what do we have? Um, we've gotten a couple military shooters, which I could not give a fuck about. Um, they're doing a Squid Games game really striking when the iron's hot on that one they're going full-on goofy mode with it um with like you know people getting hit by cars and like flying up in the air whoa it's looney tunes civ 7 uh got some gameplay footage uh monhan wilds uh looks real pretty the the monsters look really cool um there's a game it's like a top-down hack and slash roguelike uh, where everybody gets a grapple arm that looks really cool. looks kind of hate and like the intention is co-op But it's also got like a base building aspect to it where you um, Like maybe you get to you know, like build up a town and whatnot, which looks like it could be fun with friends um, Little nightmares 3 looks like a co-op game that actually would be really really cool um, Yeah, there's this new game like an adventure game with like an Indian protagonist called unknown awakening Which is a terrible name. That's gonna get it buried, but it looks really dope. Like it looks like a fun epic adventure um, Peter Molyneux showed up. Yeah, Peter Molyneux showed up and he showed up um, his new god mode game that looks incredibly jank um, and it was just funny seeing Peter Molyneux get wel welcomed on a stage and like any level of, like fanfare going up. Yeah, yeah, let's give Peter Molyneux some fanfare. Fan fanfare, that's always great. Um, hurdling, yeah, there's a game where you herd Aurochs around, um, which looks, it looks big Last Guardian vibes. That big Last like Guardian vibes on that one. Of course, and um, it's my esteemed pleasure to introduce Brent Gibson. Yeah, PETA! PETA! Vessel of Hatred. Oh no, they're still talking about it? Yeah, um, what else? What else? Uh, there's this game called Reanimate from uh, the studio who made Little Nightmares uh, that look, or Reanimal, that looks really good. Oh, uh, it's like black and white. It's black and white, but it takes place in Albion, which if I'm not mistaken is the fable universe. And it's got like a whole thing where like, yeah, yeah, like you, uh, you can, you can, you can specifically individually make the food that, that players eat. They showed off your ability to make a sandwich and a pie. Um, and they showed off the ability where you can take control of any like unit that you're controlling or uh, you're, you're ordering out RTS style. You can like walk around and do some very, very jank real time combat with them. Um, yeah, pie with a rat in it. Yeah, it's a fable God game, essentially. Um, 
Oh, a month of Game Pass and a pair of wings. Such a good deal for a deluxe edition, right? Uh, Starfield is getting an, a, an update that gives it a, gives players a free car. They, they, they pitched it to us with like just an actual like automobile trailer. Um, oh yeah, that was the other thing. Um, this guy from Blur Studios who's done a lot of game, um, like game cinematics. Um, oh. Berserker Kazan. Oh, this is the uh, DNF, uh, like uh, Dungeon Fighter Online spinoff game, right? Brutal world from Nexon coming to PC and console. Yeah, That's it's like a spinoff game from Dungeon Fighter Online. But yeah, they're making a video game anthology series. And one of the games involved is Sifu. Like Sifu's going to get its own episode of an anthology series, which is very exciting for me. And like some other stuff. It looks really, really cool. Um... Yeah, Mega Man. The the art style for the Mega Man one was questionable, but he's been drawing a lot of different styles. I missed the Pac-Man during that. Send you the link for the anthology series. Yes. Okay. Cool. For years. Please do. I faced unrelenting fury. So, from what I understand, Dungeon Fighter Online is just like an insanely massive franchise that like I'm completely blind on. And the result of my devotion. Was betrayal. I know it's got a big PvP scene. Well, let's see how this game combat actually looks. Looks like it plays pretty Neo S. You're staying grounded for this one. Could be good. Yeah, kind of souls ish, which at this point is like definitely becoming less and less of a draw for me. Oh, is it South Korea that uh, Dungeon Fighter has its uh, following in? Join me, Blade Phantom. Then I will help you. Damn, they're hot! <laughs> yeah, you're being catered to a little bit here, Aya. Uh... Okay. I mean, yeah, it looks. Ooh! Oh, what was that little jump? What was that little jump? I mean, yeah, it looks like a fairly proficiently made souls like from what I can tell. Our alliance has been formed. I wish devs took the information from Eco instead of exclusively Dark Souls. That's what Hurling's for. The constraints of the past are history. Here. You rule the way. That was like a vegetables. That was a lot of vegetables around that throne. Your choices will remake the world. Yeah, this gives me big mobile mobile game Every vibes. Becomes an opportunity to triumph. Please, please show me a level nine get a uh, level one mook at a level ninety nine mob boss. Oh yeah, this is just like. This is mobile civilization. This is mobile civilization without geometry. The background did have big AI, AI generated vibes. Yeah. The backgrounds did look. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like bad civilization. Play it day one with PC Game Pass. Yeah. Civ City. Dark and darker mobile. Oh, God. Bad D and D movie trailer vibes. Oh no! Oh, I love it when my fantasy heroes quip. This music would have been uncool for a game trailer twenty years ago. <laughs> Love it if we just could insert a single a single cut of actual gameplay footage in the middle of this for sheer sheer um contrast sake. I've not watched a DG movie. I probably should at some point. Dark and Darker Mobile is now available for global pre-registration. Now from next <laughs> Yeah, let's pre-register. Is a new life simulation game where 
players can travel among super-powered worlds to craft their island and engage with friends. Let's take a Wait, look. Wait, what's a super-powered world? Flotopia! Ah, this is... Cute visual style. I just, oh, it's Animal Crossing, but you're in the sky. Um, and you can get struck down by the elements, apparently. Oh, this is very much not my game, but like, good on anybody who likes. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, oh, you just get to vacuum up your food fight. Okay, they got stuff to do. They got actual stuff to do. Yeah, I mean, it's a whole lot of terraforming. Some cute creature designs. Is that a giant flying axolotl bus? That's a giant flying axolotl bus. That's a, that's nice. Okay, good on them. Good on them. Aw. That bed looks immaculately cozy. Yeah, I know some people who would lose their shit over this one. Yeah. It looks like a cute version of what I was trying to do. It's very much not my thing, but like, nice. I like the look of it. It's a diorama, All yeah. Right, we got another game it's to got show a good... you, which will take you on an epic global adventure. Indiana oh, yeah. Jones and the Great Circle. Yeah, this, this is another out. one that like it feels really weirdly late for them to be making a game out of this. But yeah, what if I told you there was a connection between ancient. Oh, cultures that CGI of Harrison Ford. A Great Circle. Does it exist? Is it the key to some lost power? Yeah, like, it's like I, I don't really power. look at Indiana Jones and think like, oh, this is. This is I'm like Troy Baker and I play Indy. <laughs> Troy Baker. It's humbling playing a character that so many people, myself included, look up to. Troy Baker with As just Harrison kid, Ford's face CGI'd onto the it for the first time was a defining moment for me. And I never would have guessed that all these years. Indiana later, Jones I is a classic. No, exactly. And like the I fact am. that Tomb Raider is such a, true. you know, beloved franchise that proves that there's like meat to it. Yourself. It just feels like, yeah, I don't know. Game like this is that we all get to feel what it's like to become indie. You are the one who cracks the whip, who feels the oh. whip every Oh, I do not like that whip animation. Every clue. Why does this look like a VR character. game? Why does this Professor, look like a VR game? An archaeologist? When the way he's moving his hands in these. Explore the quintessential all-around adventure. And this game has everything you'd expect from an Indiana Jones adventure. Mysterious artifacts. Cunning villains, ancient discoveries. I don't think it's supposed to be a VR action. game. No, but it's a world of constant danger where you've got to think on your feet to stay alive. The Great Circle spans the entire globe, from snake-filled gameplay execution, yeah. scorpion-riddled desert tombs, stunning open areas to explore freely, full of yeah, like that, for you to discover. That that whip kind of flopped a onto a guy. And revolver, Indy's journal and his camera will immerse you in the mystery, providing extra info on all of your finds. Oh, sweet, we get to our adventure points, all though. Of the little historical details he obsesses over. And those details are your key to solving the ancient puzzles that hold the secrets you're after. But ancient secrets don't come easy. It's best to have an exit strategy. This is an oh, okay, we get, get to the run from a boulder. Jones, and I can't wait for you to play it. Hold on to your hat. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Um... Doesn't that look great? A world of mystery to explore. But you're probably wondering when the game comes out, right? Well... Okay. There you have it. Indiana I don't know, why, that's, the great I don't know why that was out. really funny this to me, December but... This for Xbox, Game Pass, and PC. It's not but like even particularly soon or anything. It's like, oh, wow. Bethesda wanted to ship. A holiday release date. Shocking. I feel like Jeff's a little low energy today. Oh. 
Wait. The game's coming to PlayStation 5 in spring of 2025. What is that? It's own right, announcement. Before we wrap up ONL, we do have one final game announcement. Yeah, if they did it, it comes Check out today out. or like next month, that would have been huge. But like, yeah, it's coming out just like the time you expect games to come out. Hours. Okay. One more thing. Treachery. And deceit do not exist among us. Yeah, this is very rummy vibes. Do you wish to commit? Is it like a Red Dead or? Your life. To this family. That's it. That's it. Okay. I'm Nick Baines, president no. of Hangar 13. What you just saw is the first early look at Mafia the Old Country, a thrilling story. They haven't done a Mafia game in forever, right? The origins of the Mafia. We're going back to the roots of what fans love about the Mafia franchise, crafting a deep linear narrative with that classic mob movie feeling. Mafia's sure. success is built on our players' passion for the franchise, and we're so proud to return to Mafia with the Old Country. We can't wait to show you all more. Thanks for watching. If it's fully set in Italy, then that could be cool. Yeah, but I, I have nothing to go on. I have nothing to go on from that. The vibe was good. All right, well, that is a wrap on opening night That's live it. from here in Cologne, Germany. And we hope to see you again this December, December 12th, when the All game right. streams live everywhere for our 10th anniversary show. And it's gonna be a very special night as we give you a sense of where games are going in the next decade. We don't want to sure. say much now, but trust me, it's gonna be a very special show. All right, well, thanks again to my co-host, Sean. All right, yeah, let's, let's just... Since you do a great job. Thank you so much, Jeff. It was really great to be here. I hope everyone had... You feel worse? Time. Really? I, I, I still found something. Okay, so we'll... we'll, we'll I don't want to show you up, We'll let this play out, and then I want to just kind of... I want to kind of go back and just, like, let's just skim through what we saw today, because I just want to, like, chat about stuff that I might be excited for, right? Um, she did do good. She did do good. Have a great night. She gotta do like the ankle walk from the from the dress. <laughs> okay, yeah. So like, what do we have? What do we have? Um, what 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 got announced today? I think there were actually some trailers that we missed out on. There were some trailers we missed out on during the pre-show. I want to go through that real quick. See if there's anything that we missed. Oh yeah, there were a couple. Guys, well known for its depiction of long-distance relationships. Wait, first, we, there's one Amber more? Diver first, who's had some fun and unpredictable collaborations. I just want to go back and catch up on what we, what we might have missed out on. I definitely found some things I'm interested in, but I am really excited. Again, I knew this going into that. I'm, what I'm really excited is tomorrow. Because uh, tomorrow, same time that we started today, uh, we'll probably start at like 1.30 for the pre-show. Uh, but the, the actual... Um, stream of it's going to be happening at 2 EST, uh, but it's the awesome indie celebration, um, which I think is uh, like, I, I, I love me some indie games. I think that's like when I'm going to get my good food. So I definitely hope to see y'all tomorrow, but like, yeah, Wharf Plate, the Wharf Plate's good. I know Nefer P2 in the background. Love that. Um, and then I, I, this is the Hyakushiki, which is very based. Um, and I think that's a star scream. I don't know what this one would be. Um, but yeah, let's Already see. Let's see what we miss out on. We, but he's not done yet. Let's see. I what do he's enjoy the cat. Next. Just hanging out here. So yeah, we got some Dave the Diver. I know a lot of people love the fuck out of this game. Mm. Mix some tune. Oh. Wow, okay, Dave the Diver meets Bellatro? You see, this is why we this is why we go to the indies for the interesting shit. Crazy that you just put that in another game, alright. Oceancraft? Wow, Dave the Diver is just all of the cozy games that my audience loves are just crossing over here. 
If you're just joining us here at the pre-show, cool. you're still relatively early. You only missed one trailer so far. <laughs> and our next one is for a brand new game in a storied franchise, well known for its depiction of long distance relationships. Hello, Pim, how you doing? Yeah, the Indies are already feeding us good, right? We smashing Nazis. All footage captured in game engine. 1944. Allied forces are preparing to drive the Nazis out of France. And they're desperate to turn the tide of war back in their favor. The French resistance have uncovered a rumor of a secret weapon so ruthless, so severe, it could make it impossible to reclaim France. This threat can't go ignored. That is a face. Okay, so this isn't our, our military shooter. Um, don't know what it is yet. Um, are we getting the ball shots? Wait, what? Something. There's some context here I'm unfamiliar with. Yeah, it is sniper elite. Yep. Event is close. No ball shots, though. It will have the big games. It will have the big game announcement. No, 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 no. This is what we're here for, though. Wait, let's see. Don't act like you don't like the Bulbasta. Oh, you can throw testicles? That's good. Oop. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Yeah! Okay, this looks good. This is good. This is good. Yeah, I'm into this. Oh! Okay. There are party rolls? Wait a second. How'd <laughs> she scream? Wait a second. Fabio? Oh, he got the basketball. He dribbled him. Wait, this looks fantastic. I, I, it's almost turning red meat spooky sleepover starts. Yeah, be gone, beast. Oh, I'm wishlisting this one immediately. Wait, I'm wish I'm wish wishlisting this right now. Wait, I was saying, I was saying I wanted some more fucking co-op games. Um, ever seen in your life, right now? Oh, that's yeah. No, that's that's 100 percent. Couldn't wait to leave on my radar. Behind, but what's that saying? Man plans and God Wish laughs. Wishlisted already. Uh, he must have had a good one on my account. This looks... Oh, wait. When the water that... receded, it carried away everything we ever had. It also gave me a reason to stay. This is a... Truth is, we can't stop Oh, I don't like this coming. voiceover. The important thing is that we rebuild. Fucking Christ. Don't make me play it again. Trees, parks, and fences. The truck will power through anything and anyone. With only 47.9% APR over six months. Why has this fucking song been so relevant today? Away in your brand new truck today. And with our new 4x4 package, your daughter can drive you off from the bar. Lots of hidden compartments for all of your unregistered firearms. No, I'm making a better trailer right now. Oh, God. Fuck. Um. Okay. Thank you, Roadcraft. And now you're about to see a couple of games that will make you say. Mm. <laughs> wait, wait, Sick. no, dude. He ate with that. He ate with that. Oh my god. I imagine this man was just handed a script, and he is, he is doing the most with it. Let's hear that again. 
I'm done. I say, mmm, for, for Nico Darrow, the magical world. Yeah. Wait, music by David Wise? Wait, I'm actually into this. Wait. Yeah, that's David Wise right there. It's a little Donkey Kong Country, a little Crash Bandicoot. Wait, this is actually great. fucking love Donkey Kong Country. Tropical Freeze is like one of my favorite games, period. Okay. Little Banjo 2. Yeah! Little Banjo Kazooie. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Nico de Rico, the magical world. Oblivious to the master's leash. Sure. True balance. Yeah, I'm glad we got to back to the beginning too. Do not take free will for granted. I know I did. You got the one woman whale. Wait, an Otria. Oh, this is the one. This is like the souls likey one that's supposed to be kind of weird as fuck, right? I think, was this featured on an Iron Pineapple video recently? Yeah, it looks like it could be potentially kind of jank, but like, I, I'd have to control it to see how it actually plays. But yeah, no, like the, the, the look, like the visuals are really solid. The designs are great. YouTube contraption is not kind to it, but. Yeah, brighter and more colorful than Dark Souls for sure. I, I really like the aesthetic of this one. Words and tales worn as medals of a naught for a hero self-proclaimed. And what of you? Oh, that one's coming out in September. That's not too long from now. Stone uh, this is a dope design. This reminds me of some of the uh, angels from Bayo. Yeah, this game looks dope. This day. Inspired by Italian folklore. Fuck yeah. That's fi finally we get some some proper proper Italian souls like. Wait, Liza P was Liza P Italian? Geppetto's an Italian ass name, right? We all agree that this pre-show is going pretty good so far. Mm. But my primary duty here is to make you aware of and excited about the fact that opening night live is minutes away. So here they are, the top 10 reasons to look forward to Gamescom Opening Night Live 2024. Liza P was Number steampunk. <laughs> a new look at Call of Duty Black Ops 6. You see, he was warning us. He tried to warn Number us. Number 9, an extended look at the gameplay of Dune Awakening. I hope he exclusively... Can I with you for a second? <laughs> yes, camera two! I didn't get Dune until the second movie, and now I think Dune is cool. Number eight. I, wait, I like this guy. The tinge of king-like power you feel when dozens of big-budget games desperately beg you to wishlist them. <laughs> Number seven reason to look forward to Gamescom opening night live oh, 2024. He, he almost broke there. He News almost broke there. from Marvel Rivals. Number six. An Indiana Jones in the Great Circle presentation. Just going to do a quick shout-out no to Kyle Bozeman. another super long cutscene. At some point, they're going to have to show what it's that. like to play this game. Like, what button is the whip? <laughs> Number five. The reveal yeah, of no, they, Tarsier they, Studios' next game. They actually kind of cooked with this guy. So, Tarsier Studios, who made the Little Nightmares games, a few weeks ago, they put out this terrifying teaser with, like, this sliced open giant happy pig. And then it just says, Worldwide Game Reveal, Gamescom <laughs> ONL. And that makes me curious. I don't even know what this is. Number four. I hope this guy's running the uh, awesome indies tomorrow. 2024. 50 50 shot Sam Lake shows up with a new dance. <laughs> he is not scheduled to appear. <laughs> you always feel like there's a chance. Yeah, yeah, Number he's good. Three, he's good. <laughs> the first gameplay of Civilization 7. 
Number two. Oh, just, just does not an break update focus there. On Monster Hunter Wilds. Officially, we're just calling this an update, but there's no way it's just going to be somebody talking. No, honestly, make I this man the host. It's going to be nice. And the number one reason to look forward to Gamescom Opening Night Live 2024 is. It is always nice to hear a room full of people cheer and be happy about video games. Almost always. But before we can get to any of that, there's still what about when they don't cheer? Next up, what about when they don't cheer, Kyle? Fury and Haven. Here's a brand new trailer for Cairn. Oh, well, I like his style. I like his visual style. Robot, little robot, little climbing bat ma man. Oh, oh, we got like, we have like actual proper Python mechanics. Yeah, Breath of the Wild, if the climbing was good. Oh, he's a little guy. He brings you back your fucking Pythons. Mechanically complex trad dad climbing game, yeah. Holy shit! Are you ready for Cammy? It doesn't look so bad, does it? That's pretty neat! Oh, I like that! Celeste, but with this no double jump. Two. You're gonna see a mysterious trailer for an unannounced game, and then immediately after that, I have an interview with that game's developer. Okay. So first, here's this. How long has it been? Five days? Six? A first person farming Maybe. horror allegory. Holy no shit. How Half my audience still just nutted. Tired. Maybe it's because the nights here feel unsettling. And it's even got a sad middle aged man, so like. The only thing that brings me a bit of comfort is that I'll never talk to another human being ever again. I've decided that this abandoned oh, farm- I like this is scored like an die. inspirational indie movie and trailer. Until then, that leaves me with an ever pressing question. How do I fill the time? There's always a lot to do on a farm and it's good to keep busy. I know so many streamers who are going to lose their shit for us, yeah. Like the things you've lost. Me! This is giving that dragon called cancer vibes, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what winter brings after the harvest. Okay. Recently, I had the opportunity to talk to the solo developer behind We Harvest Shadows, David Whaley. What's up? Thanks solo for having dev. me. It's a great honor. Oh, weird. Heck yeah. We're oh, cool. Happy to have Fuck you. yeah. Fuck yeah. How would you label We Harvest Shadows? We Harvest Shadows is officially, I call it, a first person farming horror allegory. And it's because I wanted to do a lot of weird things with this game. I, I wanted to make a beautiful horror game. It's very personal, story-wise. I call it anti-cozy game, Ooh. which you're probably wondering how does that even work. I think straight a lot up of calling us, it an allegory is pretty pretentious. It's it's a, it's a little, and, it's you know, kind of leading trust. with it, yeah, I but my life. extremely cozy. Yes, yeah, extremely cozy. And I was like, I wonder if we can take this type of gameplay, which is relaxing, and twist it in an unusual way to make a gameplay experience that's unlike anything else and so Go i want this game to be relaxing but i also want it to be terrifying so i think an interesting part of that trailer is when you get your first objective on that notepad and it just says leave house which seems like a simple thing but i'm wondering in the game itself is it's going to be like a mechanically difficult thing to do uh you know i don't want to spoil anything but um the, no, the i think trailer, he just wants to get you out of the I house i wanted to show that to show this main character his mental state and how his capacity is different and maybe sometimes we want to judge people that Oh. Like, oh, they can't leave the house. What's the big deal? But I, I've had 
days like that where that's the hardest thing in the world. It's relatable, and but it's I also incredibly on the nose. To become real, like they're it's so on the nose. Become, it's like, yeah, no, no. Literal demons in the game. I think it's it's a little too easy there. I think a difficult objective of the day. I've been there. Yep, me too. I get that. What is something from that trailer you hope people didn't miss? There is like some hidden things. We've seen what trailer. gamers do when it's not labeled as satire um, allegory, even some, when it's on yeah, the nose. There might be some eagle I mean, viewers, yeah, but... but a big theme of the game is that he feel he wants to be alone forever, right? But he's actually being watched at all times. And so in the trailer, there's a lot of hidden faces, scary things looking at him. So maybe people can go back and see if they can find them. David, oh, wait, he wants so he wants the map hat treatment Have so fucking bad. Time. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks again to David for taking the time to do this and bringing the vibes back up. And I think now is as good a time as any for a super scary trailer with biblical undertones. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, eyes. Ooh, sclera. I hope it's better than how it's that. No, I think it could be. I think it well could be. The vibe's definitely there. These, these are good shots. I'll give you that. These are good shots. True horror often doesn't present itself in the way we expect or desire. Ooh! Ooh! I will reveal to you the real horror. Truth and Fiction Simulator 2025? <laughs> yeah, horror lovers are kind of eating good. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, go figure. Yeah, go figure. Bellissimo. Next up <laughs> is a trailer that works better Kyle, if I don't even it. set it up. So here's a good trailer to watch. Yeah, I'm glad how everybody was simultaneously <laughs> let down by that final reveal. Burgers in what? the galaxy. Burger Square. Swappy Extreme Burden Smart Box from Hot Wheels. Holy oh. shit. I didn't realize Cinco products had, had taken over the stream. Let's, let's, let's. It works better if I don't even set it up. So here's a good trailer to watch. Here's a good trailer to watch. With nowhere to poop. The juiciest burgers in the galaxy. Burger Square. Swappy Extreme Learning Smart Box from Hot Wheels. I smush it down my throat. Greetings, Brave Explorer. Hello, Spare Parts Pokemon in. We here at Alta Interglobal would like to welcome you to our newest venture. This is big Tim and Eric energy for those. The New Florida? <laughs> Thank you very much for following us. <laughs> Welcome to Cool Hell. the universe in cryosleep, ready to begin your work on this strange alien planet. Unfortunately, oh. changing market conditions have led us to the realization that space exploration is far too costly and unpredictable. And Alta has oh, wait, I kind of love this. Plans in space. I regret to inform you that you have therefore been made redundant. Your final check has been sent. We thank you for your service, and we hope you eventually find a way home. Good luck. Fire! Single player, online co wait, what is this game? Oh, this is Return to the Savage Planet, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, we, 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 we tabbed over during this. Oh, that was a really, I mean, I would love to see some actual gameplay. Um, I guess we'll see. We, you you can see it Inzo, tomorrow. Which is a new life sim. Game. It's first person. Ah, uh, yeah, sims, that will probably be. Uh, if it's if it's outer wildsy enough and it's like fun enough with friends, it could be neat. Yeah. Character. Okay. So yeah. Let's see. So from this point on, we it's stuff we've already seen. What was this again? Oh yeah, this is um this is Simson. So yeah, they they were they announced uh, it's it's The Sims, but it's not. I am yeah, I am the The Sims. There's this game. It's from the Danganronpa crew. 
it looks like a roguelike boss rush and like the, the character design has me hella worried that it might be gotcha or live service in some way yeah zen was zone zero like but that being said some good action gameplay some fun enemy designs could be cool could be cool welcome on in apex we're just kind of doing a recap right now um yeah like i see i see these level ups and i see wait oh never mind now i probably skipped too far um yeah this I don't know, some of this, the, the combat isn't super... Yeah, those super moves look a little, a little gacha-y. According to Steam Limited, you have to free to play? Yeah, probably just not gonna, I'm probably gonna skip over that. What was this one again? Oh yeah, so there's like a, this prey-like one, with, which we've got some... It's, it's space horror, dead space, prey, those vibes. Uh, could be cool. Weren't you unstreamer for game? I am right now, Apex. That's what's happening. Currently. <laughs> yeah, she sees somebody and it's herself. Oh. Trad Knight is a gacha game. Okay, yeah, so it's completely off my radar at that point. Yeah, so Directive 8020 is space and it's horror. Um, what else do we got? What else do we got? Alright, Terry Bogard! We got our first Terry Bogard footage, which is cool. Um, I don't know about, enough about Fatal Fury to, like, confirm his realistic... Uh, how, how accurate he is, but... We got the alt costume and everything. He looks the dope. Uh, what else? What else? That was the last thing before, uh, during the pre-show. I just want to go through and see what it was, you know. Yeah, they announced some. Um, <laughs> this is still my favorite quote from the night. Wait, look. So Gamescom, Sensi Variety for the world premiere. I tried it. All right, here's our first world premiere, a brand new game announcement. This one hasn't leaked and it's exclusive, right? This here. one hasn't leaked. This one didn't, this one hasn't leaked. And what is it? What is it that people weren't willing to leak? Borderlands 4. Hooray. Um. Welcome. Riding high off that movie. There was an extended Call of Duty sequence, which, yeah, I'm not gonna give a fuck about that. God, they really, they really milked the Call of Duty sequence. More like Thunderland's boar. Friends oh. from places far away. Um, they did an inspirational speech. Um, okay, yeah, this. Remember how ever, how excited and confused everybody was going here? The remasters ward. Uh, they got. They did mogging Arthas. Uh, just, uh, Skyrim, re Skyrim joke, in the re-release ward. And, oh, it's a Grand Theft Auto offending eyeballs. Very pointed call out to Assassin's Creed. I was like, oh my god, what could this be? Who's taking so many shots? It's fucking. It's fucking Goat Simulator remaster. The goat looks AI generated. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um. Between all. Oh wait, this was cool. This was cool. So every Persona game, you always get to fight the previous protagonist, or like uh, Shin Megami Tensei. I think it's specifically the Shin Megami Tensei, the Mega Ten games, where you get to fight every previous protagonist. Between all of you and what's happening. And they're doing the DLC for the Persona Three remake. Um. And you get to fight fucking Joker. And we didn't see that coming. And that that's cool. That's a cool reveal. A boss fight against Joker is fucking sick. Um, this was just like, oh yeah. It, uh, some uh, Dying Light 3 is happening. I mean, I feel like you'd get a weird amount out of the, Shim the Mega Ten games. Uh, was it Black Myth Wukong? is out and currently being played by a shit ton of people that was a thing sparking zero um it's still dragon ball you pre-order and you get 
three three Vegitos and three Brolies. <laughs> uh, this. Okay, so I have weird, I have mixed feelings on this one because the potential is definitely here with this game. This is a really, there's a real, a lot of, there's a cool concept with this one. I don't like the style of this trailer. I don't like the fact that this is also an Amazon game, but it's like a Fall Guys with some combat and like actual pl platforming that looks like it maybe controls well. Um, the art style worries me. The amount of inevitable microtransactions worries me. Um, but the fact that you can create dungeons and then fight your way through them with other players could be really cool. Could be neat. Um, I don't know, like different weapons. I, I, I have faith, but also Amazon games, right? Um, spectacle for let's see what else what else <laughs> at this point yeah but like, most people have been here for all this okay yeah this game linked i'm gonna add this one i'm gonna add this one to my i i do not like this this initial art style i do not like the color choices here um i have worries about it i'm gonna add this one to my wish list though town building elements and so we blended these ideas together to i'm gonna i'm gonna add my one this one to my wish list i think this one could be cool players to brawl build and you're out of playing it like i don't know this gameplay looks potentially pretty good the combat looks pretty clean i like all the shit you can pull with the the, the grabby arm i really like the robot designs yeah there's some there's some there's a little bit of mega man to the design it's a little bit of fortnite a little bit of overwatch it's, 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 i'm not i think the art style works a lot better when you're actually watching the gameplay like this right the go the bright colors really really look good on this um it's a base building that i just don't give as much of a shit about right um oh yeah there's glad, life of strange with like a band of four lesbians um a zombie game to gain. um arc raiders gave us like nothing like barely anything oh infinity niki this is this was this was the one where the edible hit yeah they don't give you a single goddamn idea what you actually do in this game but they went so hard with this trailer Like they really make, they really drive home that title too. I, I, I really enjoy this trailer. I don't think I would ever play this game. Just uh, there's a, there's a shot in this trailer that looks like it's about to turn into a souls. Like it looks like a big old, this looks like you're about to get into a boss fight. It's a gotcha fashion game, man. Could have been so much more. I love so many of the visuals here. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah. We didn't really get a gameplay trailer, but Warhammer, Space Marines, a thing. Uh, hero shooter. Sure. It's a hero and you shoot. Um. This is. Oh yeah, this is a uh, not Diablo. Um, we got an extended sequence of the Dune MMO, which I think a lot of chat agrees. We just kind of want to watch Eve Online style financial disasters happen in it. Path of Exile 2, yeah, yeah. Hello, Vixie. There was Genshin, that was our bathroom break. Monster Hunter World. We could do a lot worse for an interim. Uh, there, there's a there, there's one lady here with big hair who I really really like. She, she looked real hot. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, this yet. Naraka Blade Point is crossing over with Tomb Raider. Secrets. For whatever reason, absolutely fucking baffling crossover. Yes. I really don't know what the deal is there. Mecha Break got a little trailer. Um, oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, we're getting a third gate, the third third Monument Island. Is that what that was called? Or Monument Valley? Yeah, we're getting Monument Valley three. It's exclusively on Netflix games. Uh, but it has a thing. That is a thing. Um, that's happening. Um, first gameplay of Civ six, seven. So that's neat. Um. Uh, Marvel Rivals are is getting Captain and Bucky. LS there was like a weird spot about carbon offsets. Um, we could not agree more, which is why we are so excited to share this series with you. This, again, original episodes created in 15 episodes. I don't know what all these games are. Look, this looks like Last of Us. Couldn't tell you what half of this shit is. Um, I think this is their Mega Man. We're going to get Warhammer, but the Sifu, I'm literally just Amazon here for Sifu. Secret level could be cool. Okay, can you pause right now? Yes, I will. Games. I'll pause I'm the shows they have. Yes, yes. You saw Kratos? Okay. Uh, I think it was right at the end of the trailer where they went through everything. This has a lot of potential to be really dope. Oh wait, yeah, so wait. All right, we're frame frame by framing this. Okay, so Warhammer, we knew. I'm hitting that frame, advance. Unreal Tournament. That's actually a great choice for a fucking, that's a great choice for a single, for a one-off anthology thing, yeah. You could, you could, you could, fill a 25 minute episode of just a bunch of wacky characters shooting blade like buzz saws at each other a new world a turnum i don't know shit about playstation just as a whole i guess they're gonna give astro's playroom his own fucking game um or his own episode uh that could be cute dungeons and dragons um outer worlds 2 Truly a, 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 a modern classic that everyone definitely remembers. Uh, Borderlands without the humor, yeah. Um, Pac-Man. Pac-Man. I'm kind of shocked that nobody's trying to make a Pac movie yet. A Pac-Man movie yet. That Honor of Kings, I never even heard of, I'm pretty sure. Armored Core. Armored Core, that's going to get a lot of people excited. Mega Man. Colorless Mega Man Exodus. Um, Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds and depressing you in what way? Um, Spelunky. We're going to get a Spelunky episode. That's insane. Um, Crossfire. Crossfire is huge. I don't know what the fuck Concord is. Um, Sifu. That's literally all I'm here for. Oh, and then that—I think that's that's it. Come in. Okay. You have a game to. Is a new hero shooter that's gonna be Dead or Arrival? Yeah, uh, they showed off some major mythology, but I can't give a fuck about it until I, until I learn for sure that they aren't—they're they, removing the AI art. Uh, this Towerborn game. The tower is the only sanctuary. Oh yeah, this is the beat 'em up. This is like a co-op beat 'em up. Why why are you freezing on that? We can give It's like a co-op beat 'em up. I'm not a huge fan of the colors, but could be alright. Um Military shooter. There's an alligator. Wish you could play as that. What a spore game? Are you talking about Peter Molyneux? Oh yeah, the Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is a thing that's happening. Yeah, we'll 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 experience Peter Molyneux's World of Thrills again, sure. There was a lot of Hoyover shit that I kind of skipped over categorically. It fucking left a lasted a while. Batman VR Great for Oculus Quest 3. Uh, Little Nightmare 2 is um is is co-op and that looks good. That, that, that's cool. Um, it, it looks neat. I'm actually looking excited for that. Hurdling could be just Last Guardian. It could be Last Guardian. Oh, could a, be cool. And, um, and many of you did too. 
explore further with dungeons. Yeah, yeah, how has this man not lost impact. all credibility? I know, right? It's kind of crazy, but yeah. I'm going to say it right now. I don't think the game actually looks that good either. Um, obviously, YouTube compression is a bitch, but like, I don't uh, like the visual style that much. By day, you're tasked with building the town up, gaining resources, and earning money. I don't... Yeah. Tonight, your town will be attacked by many of Albion's creatures. It just looks real bad, yeah. You can design anything. God, the Food, jankiest the fucking... The clothes they wear, the weapons they The use, jankiest fucking hand. There is a strategy behind every creation. I can even feed them rats. It, this looks... The town's working hard to make that food. The most bored-sounding video out. ever. <laughs> yeah, I love Golden. Or... Not. He sounds so disinterested in his own creation. I can also design, customize, and create. I can food. even feed them rats. Like he says, <laughs> I still can't get over how he just never addresses the fact that the roof is just chilling there on the ground. Night is coming. The sun is going down. And now my town needs I, I, to we gotta, we gotta, we gotta the witness the, the combat and though. This is my hero's time to shine. We gotta witness you the combat. To God mode. At any point, you can possess a character and play in third person. I. My hero is now how, under my control. How could you not want to play in third person to fight. with combat like this? Jesus. My hero's getting overwhelmed. Let's switch back to God mode and unleash some real it's up with <laughs> Look at the message in the corner. Tap here to begin ta chapter two. Yeah, that's real good. Okay, we survived the night. Yeah, now, well, wow, amazing. Um, he makes a bread sword. Yeah, this... This shit is fucking... I know game development takes a while, but why? Why are, why are we still sticking music resources into this? I've been oh yeah, okay, this game actually could be cool. I have I have some some hope for this one just because of the possession mechanic. And just like the atmosphere looks good, the environments look neat. I'd have to see how it actually plays. But like, yeah, the, the whole like, oh, I can possess people. Uh, fucking, yeah, let me play Geist, sure. I have no idea what the fuck the world is, but I, I, this could be dope. I'm, I, I, I am cautiously optimistic for this one. Unknown, Unknown Awakening is such a bad fucking na game, game name though. Wait, is it Unknown 9 Awakening? Wait! Okay, okay, it's not all right. You, you can pre-purchase it coming October 17th. I saw a price already, I was like, what? Um, yeah, Unknown 9 Awakening is not a good name. It's gonna get, it's gonna get buried from that name alone. Um, this is the most generic fucking brown and gray ass military shooter I've seen in my life. Hello, hello. Souls like? Wait, what? Souls like? That's in the well, American South? Blizzard. What? Come on. Oh yeah, and then Blizzard. We can skip over that pretty confidently. Yeah, we can skip over that. Was betrayed. There's Kazan, the first Berserker. There had to be one of them. Uh, AI looking mobile game civilization, but bad. This anybody who's into the anybody who's into the uh anybody's into Animal Crossing should probably be keeping this game on on their record uh their 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 what's it called again? I like the Axolotl bus a lot. I, that's a really cute design. Um, hello, Bree. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. This this game looks really cute. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be playing it. It's not for me. But I know a lot of friends who would probably be really into this little diorama game. What's it called again? I owe it to to the people to let them. Float 
Zootopia. Good name. Good name also. Yeah, no, it's got really nice art style on that one. A great circle. Man, they really made Indiana Jones one of their last, one, more one of their final announcements. And then what was the final one again? Oh, yeah, they're bringing back Mafia. They're bringing back Mafia, and we barely got to see any of it. Very interesting uh, thing on the very interesting schedule today. Um, but yeah, I I definitely managed to see, you know, I'm never that into like the big AAA games when it comes right down to it. Um, I'm never that like invested in a lot of what the, the major like gaming sphere is into when it comes right down to it. I'm not a shooter man. I don't like my survival games or my cozy games. I like character action nonsense, but like if I was able to find enough games to be interested in hype by today, I assume y'all were too. This was a lot of fun though. This was, this was certainly a lineup, but I enjoyed watching this with all y'all. And we got another day of this tomorrow. We're gonna be starting up at 1.30 EST for the pre-show. And then at 2 PM, it's gonna start off the awesome indie showcase. And that's the shit I'm actually excited for. I'm, I am, I am so hype to get to witness some indies. We're probably not gonna get Silk Song, but indie devs always deliver, and I'm sure we're gonna be discovering some stuff I've never even heard of before. Um, so that'll be tomorrow. Big sight for that. Uh, let's see where we're gonna raid into, though. Thank you, everybody, for showing up today. It was great having y'all in. Um, it was, it was, it was real cool just, you know, getting to share and react to and enjoy um, so many <laughs> you know, and, and talk shit on so many game reveals, honestly. Um, let's see who's around, who's doing something that we can raid into. But again, tomorrow we will be back at around the same time. Um, hmm. Ooh. How long have you been going for? How long have you been going for? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that should be a good spot to head into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're going to give, um... We're gonna give a little love to Gar. Gar's always survive, and they're playing uh, some uh, Fields of Mystria, which I know people are really into nowadays. Um, the um, raid call will be Jeff Keeley jump scare. Um, so everybody, copy that as we ra prepare to raid in. Uh, but yeah, this will be a good. I'm really psyched for tomorrow. I can't wait to discover some more fucking fun indie games. Like, those are my lifeblood. I I, I hope we get some fun announcements. Um, uh, but this was a lot of fun. I, I love talking shit about video games and the industry as a whole with y'all. Um, I appreciate everybody for popping on out, uh, stopping by, um, enjoying the announcements, and I hope to see y'all tomorrow. Uh, as always... Uh, before I say goodbye, as always, hail Satan, abolish ice, free Palestine, and we'll catch you again next time. Oh, no. Satan's pretty cool.